the one and only Fax Kellerman, Stephen A. Pimp, the gorgeous gangster, the handsome hustler, the one who stretches not pennies, but limos, limos. the one with the best intro, Marquette Devon Burton, the saint and the center, giving you lessons from a pill. Okay, folks, we have all of these lovelies in the Saint City podcast. We're going to start from the left. We're going to swing all the way through. They're going to introduce themselves, and we're going to have an excellent introduction at the end by my co-host, and then we're going in. You dig? The ladies, you all are going to tell us, of course, your name, whatever your alias is, whatever you go by. If, if the police looking for you, don't say your real name. You'll tell us where you're from. Or how long you've been in Vegas, what you do, and if you want to shout out your IG, I'm sure there's some thirsty individuals in the comments, uh, including myself, because I'm hopping DMs, you dig. <laughs> I'm sending ball pics. Carrying on. We'll start with you over here. Make sure you go ahead and speak grab into mic, that. Grab a mic. Definitely, yes, indeed. Definitely. Okay, so I'm Jamie on, a.k.a. Jamie Jamie, a.k.a. Jamie Baby. You can follow me on Instagram at the real Jamie on Allen. No underscores, no periods. Mm -hmm. um, been in Vegas almost a year now in March, and I work for Clark County Youth and Family Services and Probation. Okay. That's what's up. Um, did you want to shout out your OnlyFans? Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. know I... No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. My name is Serena. Um, I'm a life insurance agent and also a content creator. My Instagram is at Serena, S-A-R-I-N-A-N-E-W-T-O-N. -E and I've been in Vegas for about two years now. Where'd you come from? Um, I'm from here, but I moved to Oklahoma for a while. So You moved to Oklahoma? I know. Are there, are there any black people in Oklahoma? Oh, my goodness. I'm, should I want to know? Yes. There, like yeah. normal ones or like weird ones? Like black <laughs> black hillbillies or what? No. no. Okay. They are, okay. Yeah. What were you doing in Oklahoma, though? I was just, I was young. So <laughs> she I, was, like, I, I was kicking it. <laughs> like, okay. I was kind of kicking it, okay. but yeah, I came back. Now, when you say content creation, what kind of content you create? Um, I talk a lot about business and mindset, um, also spirituality. So that's what I mainly You got about. some tarot cards on you? Maybe. Now, what you be talking about with spirituality? Um, I talk a lot about just like law of attraction, manifestation, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Manifest it then. All right. All right. Okay, slide, slide that yeah. to her. Yeah. Yellow. What's up? All right. I'm AD Rich. I work at Dre's. I also record. I'm from Minnesota. I'm 22 until Saturday. Minnesota, don't you know? <laughs> Don't I've never said know. that once in my life. Don't they be out there like all Oshkosh Bagosh in Minnesota? Ain't white that? People. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But I heard it's a lot of Somalis out there. There's too. a lot of everything there. We're life. Okay. Yeah, everything. Okay. So you work at Dre's. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the club. You heard me? We're going to be in Dre's turning up professional body tomorrow, popper. actually. You're a professional bodybuilder? Bottle popper. Oh, okay. I was like, damn. <laughs> A body I said that wrong. Yeah, a bottle popper. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Is there anything else we need to know? They said I got small feet. Oh. She got small feet. <laughs> we we, we, going, we going on the drip cam. We going to check it all out. And I didn't already previewed everything because, as you know, I'm a wagonologist. <laughs> Carrying on. Mm, go ahead. Hi, my name is Winter. Mm. You can follow me on Instagram at XOXO underscore winter with three R's. And I'm a dancer and I'm from Las Vegas. Mm. What, what kind of dancing you be doing? The money kind. Mm, I like that. <laughs> the spicy. I like that. I like no. that. And where are you from? I'm from Las Vegas. I'm from Vegas. You born and bred in Vegas. Yeah. You look like you born and bred in Vegas Don't too. And you got a Vegas job. You. Based on my Vegas stereotypes, <laughs> you you fit everything my stereotypes but, say. Actually, yeah. Let me I know. Did everything right. I went to college. Okay. I had the experience that it wasn't for me. Okay. I learned it. Got a regular job. Talking to that mic for that. Realized either. that it wasn't for me either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to own my own business, and how I decided to get to my dream a little faster was dancing. Okay. I'm going to be a barber. So. I like to own my own business, too. Can you become my business? Right. Think about that. Uh -oh. We're going to get back to you. She, <laughs> hey, let her think about that. Let her ponder on that. Um, mm, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, I'm Teresa. Um, I am also a dancer. <laughs> go ahead, then. Um, born and raised in Vegas. Mm. Um. 
25. Okay. Um, I mean, I do other things like. Smoke weed? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't handle weed, but I do smoke hookah. Okay. Um, no, but I can customize clothes and shoes and things like that. Um, I like that. That's me. <laughs> now, we want to make sure everybody gets your name right, because names are important here. You feel me? Did you, um, cause like a white girl name would be Teresa and your name is Teresa. It is. Teresa. <laughs> Get that right. Oh, and I totally forgot. My Instagram is Ressa.K. So it's R-E-S-S-A period K-A-A-Y. And cause I show love, I got it all in the, in the, in the description. You heard me? I ain't even looked at their IG yet, but I didn't look at their body in real life. So I'm definitely going to the IG. You heard me? We're going to do it later. Oh, we got a little little thing over there. Go ahead. I'm Samrina. I'm 21. I'm from LA. I moved to Vegas two years ago. Um, you from LA? Yeah. Where are you from in LA? South Bay, Torrance, Long Beach area. Now, you about to piss me off now because uh, Long Beach is like goddamn far as hell. That ain't LA. Why are you playing games it's with South me? South Bay. That's still part of LA. That's part. Long Beach is part of LA? Okay. You ain't getting no LA points, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> In Long Beach. In LA. Oh god damn. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> she playing with my emotions over here. Go ahead. Um, out here I do real estate. I've had my real estate license out here for four years and in wow. Cali for four years. Um, graduated from UNLV, starting a master's program okay. in March. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Feeling like Lil John. I'm out living out here. <laughs> okay. You starting a master's in what? Um, MBA, my master's oh. in business admin with the concentration in music business. Wow. You know, you should also get a degree in Marquettism. You're, that's Are you that. teaching that? Oh, uh, <laughs> indeed I am. I'm a master professor of it. Yes, indeed. I'm an exponent of Marquettism. Okay. Um, can we get a drum roll, please, for my co-host? Get a little drum roll. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Damn. You know, every time, I swear to God, like, I, I, I'd be like, I should have a long intro like this man, but right. I, I just be like, yo, it's your breezy, the OG YouTuber. I, I just been here forever on YouTube. Uh, so y'all, that's it. Huh, there it is. Voila! <laughs> I should just appear in the room. Like, yeah. God, I should, next episode, I'm not going to be here. I'm just appear. I'm okay. like, hold the curtain up, hold the curtain up, drop me. <sighs> it's your breezy bitch. And uh -huh. I'm, wait, can I say that word? No. Uh -uh. God dang it. It's okay, though. I told y'all not okay. to say it, not in said it. Um, I know, right? Let us start off with the, the folks who sent in some love via Super Chat. Can you pop up the first one? It's from Donovan Stevens. It's the one in the yellow if you scroll all the way up. While you're pulling that one on the screen, I want to shout out to Jelani. Comes in via Cash App. He writes, tuition for the live tonight. Peace to the saints. We also had early Samson came in via PayPal. He writes, peace to the saints. How do you assess maturity in the person you're messing with? Thank you and have a great podcast. That's a good question, assessing maturity, because I, I feel like a lot of people are immature nowadays. Mm. And it's shocking because they say that females mature faster than males, which now I feel like they're getting in slow mo. You heard me? Because like one of my assistants on her Tinder, right? I was I was just peeping her Tinder game out real quick. You heard me? <laughs> and I saw that she she had filtered it for guys who are like two years younger. And I was like, where they do that at? Where they do that at? So I feel like women are getting immature, but. How would you assess if the person you messing with is mature? How would you assess that? And also, side note, have you dealt with any immature guys? <laughs> oh, oh, like that? That's how you feel. She said, ooh. Is anyone yeah, speaking? Go ahead. Yeah, who want to go first? I assess maturity by what they choose to do with their time. Um, this is a lot. It's a scholar. Um, but also just... Um, well, time and then also just how they react to like negative situations. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm, I might put you on my roster the way you talking. I like that. <laughs> Not because the reason I like that is because you really find out who somebody is when they're going through challenges. You feel me? I got a lot of females that I can deal with when they're happy. But when they start experiencing challenges, they become annoying than a motherfucker. They fall down. <laughs> and that's why I don't like dealing with girls who grew up too wealthy because they never experienced real life. And when real life hit them, they just become unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And for a man, it's even worse because when a man becomes weak, it's like, damn, bro, you supposed to be the rock. That's right. You ain't even solid. You like Play Doh out here. That's right. Like Go ahead, put it When y'all get sick, you turn into little babies. I ain't never been what? sick. I don't know. I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> when men get sick, you guys cry about, about it. it. No, we just kind of like take it. All right. Oh, you're going to take it. 
I'm gonna take it. Okay. <laughs> Carrying on. Um, Donovan Stevens writes, the war room meeting was an immaculate display of strategic warfare in combination with the intelligence of the saints. Truly a pleasure to be there with the saints on the Patreon. Shout out to the members who support on patreon.com slash the saint in the center. What they're talking about is we had a war room, right? Because I got a few people who think that they, they want to play with the big homie. They don't really want that. So I was telling the saints how I deal with my enemies because I got a whole method. If people want to act crazy, I got a whole method to, you know, tear them up. You heard me? Because you can't just pull up on somebody and just sock them out no more because they call the police. So you got to do other things nowadays. So that's what he was referring to. What we got next? We didn't caught him off guard. We didn't caught him off guard. Yeah, Juwan, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Saints, y'all need to get ready for this drip cam. I can't wait for the drip cam today. You heard me? Lord. And I want to just give you guys a funny note. They didn't, some of them didn't even know we had a drip cram, drip cam, so they came unprepared. <laughs> hey, you just said that wrong like yeah. two times. <laughs> yeah. Edit it out on the back end. Uh, shout to Mr. Cambry, writes, Peace to the Saints. And you can switch him up quick. Oh, he good now. Justin writes, let the ism be plentiful tonight. Peace to the saints. Tommy Bali writes, peace to the saints. What are ways I can prevent my little sister from looking up to scandalous harlots like Brittany Renner? Mm. Any advice here? Wow. I got something to say about that. Oh, go ahead, baby. I definitely have something to say about that. She telling us with the titties out. Go ahead, baby. I think I think don't cover them up now. When you're Go talking ahead. to someone like your younger sister and telling them, and they're asking you for advice, you always want to remind them to put their individuality first mm. because people will always put social media and like what they see as a priority, but actually who you are as a person is way more important than that. As mm. the more you bring that out, the more authenticity you attract. So as long as she's doing that, she's doing everything right. Shout out mm. to the Saint City Podcast. I ain't seen any podcasts out there where the girls are really giving up game like that. Mm. Where did we find her? I don't know. I don't know. We, wherever we found her, we got to go back and get some more. <laughs> that was a great point. Wow. Does anybody need to add anything to that? Um, I honestly would say, like, if you are trying to give advice to someone else, one, first, you need to look at yourself and ask, am I living a life or am I living an example where mm. – it's, you can look up to this, like where you're saying, where you're taking my words into consideration, because I'm not going to take no advice from no older brother. If you're out here doing the exact same things that this woman was talking about. Hold up. And then and then on top of mm. that, what exactly are you looking up to in her? Because sometimes somebody can idolize somebody just because of like maybe they said something that they uh. penetrate to, like, you know, like, you know, like it's. Not exactly what they say, but sometimes like the little messages in between, like you can take little bits and pieces and apply that to yourself. So it's like, what exactly are you idolizing about that person? I like you. You really thought about that in a deep way. But the first part, um, I don't know if I'm I don't know if we're on the same page with it, Shorty, because you it seemed like you like low key tried to indicate that slang and dick is the same thing as slang and coochie. And I feel like those are two different affairs. Is, is that what you're saying? not saying that women should have their virtue but at the same time mm -hmm. if you out here treating girls like dogs if you mm -hmm. out here degrading women mm -hmm. don't sit here and try to tell me i can't degrade men don't sit here and try to tell me that i should live this wholesome life and you're out here showing me that sometimes that living this wholesome life doesn't even get you the same place and so so you're saying basically she's not going to respect what you have to say unless she looks up to you as a moral source i'm just saying like if you're trying to preach some facts to somebody if you're trying to stray somebody on this right path mm -hmm. make sure that you're also if you're not trying to correct yourself to, yourself to go on that right mm -hmm. path yourself make sure your life is something that they're going to look up to like maybe i should take advice from that person because mm -hmm. you shouldn't even take advice from everybody mm -hmm. well i kind of almost feel like those are the best people to take advice from when they live in a similar lifestyle as you and if they if they've done it longer if they've you know their experience can help you in your experience. And so sometimes like my bio biological father, he doesn't have a college degree. And so he's always like, make sure you finish that paper. Mm. And like, I have two parents that went masters, you know, good careers with a masters and I don't care for it whatsoever. Mm. But then the person that doesn't have it, he lived totally different life, but his experience lets me know, okay, you know, that really isn't it. And I feel like when it comes to Brittany Renner and her situation, I think she 
speaks very eloquently. I think she speaks she very well to advocate for her point. Her actions just don't match up. Right. She's scamming. She and so it's like it's like sounds good, but toss it. And I feel like she's one of those people. She's courageous enough to where I wouldn't mind if a little sister looked up to her in that way. But she she has antics. No, I just so mean I the, you gotta take what? No, I mean, from that person. You yeah. may not listen to everything. You may not follow to their lifestyle, but like you can take what a look pieces that they're saying. Like, don't she's do this courageous. And do this instead. She like she won the gold in the whole Olympics, <laughs> and I'm gonna give her that. She won the gold in the whole Olympics, but. Beyond that, she needs to sit her ass down somewhere. You heard me? Period. I will agree with you in that she's articulate, but she's nobody to look up to because at the end of the day, when people bring her on podcasts, are they not just bringing her on there to dog her out? Let's keep it a buck. They bring her on there to dog her out and no man on that podcast has any respect for her and all of the guys she's laid down with, none of them have respect for her. What she really need to do is sign up for some pimping so she could get with somebody who respect her because she's dealing with a bunch of squares and squares don't like a girl who's been around the block. Well, honestly, going off what she said, talking to that mic uh, so daddy can hear you. Go first and then you next. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, speaking to the mic. Yeah. Uh So going off of what she said, though, like with Brittany Renner, maybe nobody respects her or whatever, but I followed her a couple years back Mm -hmm. um, before her baby and all that extra stuff. And so, um, but I followed her because she was posting videos and she just seemed like very confident person. The way she was speaking, she was very upbeat, optimistic. And I'd like to listen to her, but she wasn't talking about anything crazy like she does now. She's her, her niche has completely changed mm-hmm. um, over the years. So you may start liking somebody for a certain reason, and then maybe you find somebody else later that you look up to or somebody else later, and it just kind of elevates after that. So the original reason why you something might catch your attention that you like about somebody, but it may not always be the negative about that person. So Fair enough. I mean, that makes sense. The thing about Brittany that really gets me is like, A, she's an entertainer and that's all cool. Go ahead, get your bag, shorty. But what she doesn't have is happiness because I know there's no woman on earth who has a broken family that she created with. She got a baby and she got to be there as a single mother. There's no amount of money that's going to make you feel whole. You know what I mean? And what a lot of these people on social media don't talk about is that downtime. You know what I mean? When them cameras turn off and you in your big old house, your lonely ass is in that kitchen and ain't nobody there with you. You feel me? That's the part that doesn't get captured. And then, like, it's embarrassing to be in the public and the dude who had a baby, which was telling the whole world he didn't really want to do that. You see what I'm saying? So to homie's question, and you could pop up the next one to his question, I would say, make sure your little sister is around the kind of women you want her to be with and around the kind of girls you want her to be like and not to get the job done. Because to your point, um, a little girl is not going to identify through a grown man or through her older brother because he's a male. She's a female. Right. So she want to be more like something that looks like her, right? So I think that makes a lot of sense. And, and I appreciate all of your feedback. And go ahead with your Okay. She so low-key. I, I was like waiting. It. She was waiting to say something. So, so I don't know who Brittany is, but what I do Wait, know... Wait, hold on. Wait. She ain't been outside. <laughs> Damn, where um, you been at? Yeah. Anyways, Woo. So what I'm saying man, is but... lessons are meant to be learned. And so the best way to learn something is by failing. So, I mean, if you want your little sister to learn, then you got to let her try it her way and she'll realize real quick that it don't work out. I don't trust baby right here. I don't mm-hmm. trust her at all. That's, that's what so it bad. Is. I don't trust her at all. Okay. That's this, literally is how it is. You, like, you, that's how it girls, is. okay, little girls, you have to let them mm-hmm. learn their own boundaries because you got to think as a female, whether we have older brothers, dad, mom, they're all worried about us on some extra, you know, mm-hmm. because we're their little girl. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you got to... Like I'm 22 and I'm just now learning my own boundaries. Oh, okay. I want to be in today. Okay, <laughs> there ain't shit going on out here. I'm going inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the yeah. Because nah. here's the thing. Hell I'm, I'm gonna nah. tell you something. In in science, I think it was uh. Mm. I, don't know if this is, I don't know if this is Darwin. Mm. Go uh, ahead. I, I believe the animal that has to learn by failure, its own failure, is actually the weaker animal. Mm. So in actuality, if you have to learn through your own failure. It's actually an example of how weak you are and how weak your strand of DNA yeah, is I because agree. eventually it will be extinct <laughs> if yeah. it has to keep failing each time. That's, so that's you true. actually try to be to prevent failure. You take the example that you see and then you don't enact it. Mm. Uh, so that's yeah, actually the stronger someone, animal. 
that was telling deep. someone only goes so far. Yeah. Well, that's that's, that's, that's to their intelligence. Well, the sad part is that's their intelligence. If they can't take it, they, right. they yeah, probably don't. I mean, by by nature's rule, they probably shouldn't be on the planet. So <laughs> it's, like, it's not it's not saying that that person is just like I don't know. Like everybody learns through experience. Like you can't always. Nobody knows how strong they are Hell or how nah. strong they're willing to go mm-hmm. without their own experience. Like, that's why I said you set your own boundaries. Like, you headed. could tell me how you want me to be and this is sad and the third. You can always have that perspective mm-hmm. and that outlook on me. And, like, I can always take that into consideration. Mm-hmm. But you're not me. I'm not you. You're not living the same life I live. So how do I know if she I can't prosper spanking. further than what the fuck? Excuse me. See, than what you're telling me, but <laughs> these two right here, Saints, Shorty right here in the black, and Shorty right here in the y'all damn near got the same shirt on in different colors. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like it. I don't think so. Um, but work with me. Work. What I'm saying is the titty meat is is there. The titty, <laughs> I'm saying the titty meat is there. Okay, look, check sure this out though. So you guys are basically the kind of characters who say, ah, "Don't knock it till you try it." No, I ain't saying That's that. That's kind of what you said. You no, said you got to no, yeah. but. Right, yeah, right. She, what do you, what, who's to say you don't like that? Who's to say that you can't conquer that challenge? Who's to say that you can't be above that? Like, you know, who's to say, like, you don't love that or like that, that or that's your passion. Like, you don't know until you try something. That's you just can't say girl, because somebody said, oh, that's weird or you don't like it. Right. You don't try it. That's what? the kind of girl you want to be like your everybody booty else. Hole. Watch out. She's oh going to try God. to tickle your booty hole when you ain't ready. <laughs> but look, here, <laughs> she going to try it. I already know. She, she's sneaky. Yeah. But look, here's the thing. Two pieces. One, one of my OGs, we used to call him Nick the Hustler. I remember when he taught me how to break down product and how to sell product and how to store product so that you don't go down for it. I was selling with my boy named Danny, right? And then Nick always told me, he said, if a guy don't hustle with you, he ain't really your friend. Like, I mean, if we don't make money together, we ain't even friends. I never forgot that. Another thing he told me, he said, you'll make more money selling weed if you don't smoke weed. Now, let me give you a little bit of game. I never in my whole life have used any drug, but I've sold drugs. And you know what I learned from selling drugs? That drugs can make a woman leave her kids. Drugs can make a woman lose all shame and do anything for it. Which is to say, I never had to try crack to know that crack is bad. She over here talking about don't knock it till you try it. Now I observe that that crack is bad. I'm not saying saying lose your morals. Now you gonna try it though. don't, I'm not saying those no things like I'm not an advocate for like, yeah, go ahead and do the drugs. Like, don't knock it till you try. You just no, said, by all don't means, don't do, can don't we do things replay? that you know are not. Use your common sense, people. Like, but it's, you, it's, it's common. Wait, hold on. I'm let, not, me, I mean, let me ask It's Jay. not so common, but let it's like, still, Jay. like, it's like, don't do nothing crazy that's going to make you abandon everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you see people who are on drugs, you see what it does to you. So, why would you do it? Like, I'm not saying in that sense, but I'm saying, like, you don't know. You need to start opening up your minds and your bodies and like just yourselves to you like trying different opportunities too. and things because you never the know. Rest. I'm not saying in a negative aspect. I'm not mm-hmm. saying it like that. Like I'm not saying like mm-hmm. do crazy stuff. But mm-hmm. you never know. You, you afraid of it though? I know. We going we gonna talk about it. What you gotta say? <laughs> oh. I gotta say that I never said that you gotta fail to learn. But that's exactly what no, she no, said. No, no, wait, hold up. Hold up. I, I'm no, a Scooby Doo reaction. Huh? Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, no, I'm saying, I mean, learn through others as much as possible. But when it comes to being a big brother and trying to tell your sister something, mm. it's only so far that that's going to go. Right. And if you she don't mind. listen, then you got to let her fail to learn right. the lesson. Yeah. You can't, like, you, you can try all you want, but if she's not listening, she has to fail. A hoe going to be a hoe, right? If, oh if she can't swim, she bound to drown. Yeah. If she can't swim, she bound to drown. That's true. That's true. You know, <laughs> if she can't swim, she bound to drown. You try to, throw, try to teach how to swim. Stuff. Try to throw that yeah, rap. Um, <laughs> you had something to say, though? No, no, no. I was just saying, like, common sense isn't common. And, like, she, she just says, oh, wait, wait, talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. Common sense isn't common, and you have to be there for people. Like she said, when they fall, they're gonna do whatever they want to do. There's no stopping it. You can be there, you can motivate them, you can try to point them in the right direction, mm. but they're not always gonna follow mm. what you feel like the right thing is. Mm. So I mean, I, it starts when you're small. So mm, and right. how how it's taken in the home. So it comes from there. You're not gonna always follow that path. If she's looking up to that person, she's gonna take what she's taking from that person, and either mm. like she said, she falls in line with what she's doing, or she chooses her own path. So. True story. Mm-hmm. Maurice writes, Peace to the Saints. It's a Jamaican. I love me some curry chicken. 
but I might have to dabble in the chicken curry next to Jibrizi. Oh, snap. They're looking at you right here, <laughs> the girl. The chicken curry next to Jibrizi. <laughs> but look at, oh, check hurt. this out, though. We going to go all the way through this drip cam, but I'm going to go ahead and say you're not Indian. He tried to act like you was Indian, though. I'm half Indian, half Persian. You oh word! How did he know that? I don't know. That's what I was just that asking. That is magical. That's <laughs> how'd you know? Wow, he didn't. Is it the Shut eyes, out. the eyebrows, maybe? The eyes, the nose. Man, he didn't. It's that damn ponytail. He didn't it. It's that <laughs> Indian ponytail. He knows what he likes. Unbounded <laughs> reality rights. Foreign sweets. Was she talking to you? Oh, <laughs> followed by Aaron. Is she tapped into the spiritual community? Yes. Also, I like how you threw that in there. Well, I like that. Also, does she like? Oh, this man it went over the board. <laughs> does she like being spanked? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna read the rest. I'm gonna let you answer that okay. real quick. Am I tapped into the spiritual community? No, do you like no, being uh, spanked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, girl, answer the question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I'm writing, yeah, oh, take it to the like, next level. Not like when he's hitting it from the back, right? Only when I'm on top. What if you're this bent over? What if you're bent over my lap? Just, to, just side note. What if you're bent over my lap and I'm just doing it like that? Is that no? I said what I said. Wow, and meant it. Okay. Wow. <sighs> That's no fun. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it be the sorry, brother. Sorry. Jay writes disappointing answer. I, I love how they address him. Girl with the orange hair or whatever is gonna cop a attitude before the end of the show. Clock starts. Hashtag watch. Oh. 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 I know you guys are probably going oh. based off because like I'm very like when I speak, it'd be like very That's passionate aggressive. Right. and aggressive. Yeah. You know they scared that. But um, yeah. it takes a lot to make me mad. I don't catch no attitude. You're gonna mm. see me giggling over here before you yeah. <laughs> she even put her fist up. You're gonna see me giggling. Uh, uh, punch your face. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, grab the mic, grab the mic, because you got oh. something for the black ladies. Never yeah. tell a black girl she's being aggressive. She might be a little loud. She's not aggressive. She's passionate. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, uh, there's many black women in here. Don't <laughs> Please, y'all don't get aggressive. Don't get aggressive. <laughs> Orion don't make Stoner. Make a attitude. Don't do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Orion Stoner comes in by Cash App. He writes, peace to the saints. Oh, yeah. Every time you guys hear peace to the saints, you guys say peace to the saints. It's like greeting. So okay. peace to the saints. Peace, peace to the, the saints. saints. You dig. All right, so we are caught up here. I think it's about time to go ahead and get into that drip cam, Yiddy. Shall we do it? <laughs> the drip cam. We got, should we keep it? Should we? Should we keep it quick or? Nah, uh, oh, okay. uh, we're gonna take our time with it. Okay, we're gonna take our time with it. This is a whole yeah. So we're gonna drip cam it. We're gonna start from that way. We're gonna swing it this way, mm -hmm. and then Jabrizi gonna do, it, and then I'm gonna do it, and then we are gonna wrap it. You heard me? All yes, right. indeed. And if you guys have any special requests for the drip cam, any special requests of the ladies, go ahead and send it in right now. You heard me? Send it in right now, early before they go up. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to familiarize you all with the drip cam because I know somebody didn't know there was a drip cam. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. Well, you know now. <laughs> you know now. Y'all thought this was a radio you do it, Yeah, I know, right? I know. right? Okay, I was one of the ones who did not know. Uh, oh, wow. No, I he mean, told me everything but that. you know, you knew you was coming outside. Now we out here. There's always surprise. Yeah, I, it was casual. I like to yeah. catch him lacking. I mean, no, I did I tell all y'all look good. There you I go. told them that. This is not huh. drips. Yeah. Nah. We, we invite y'all back. So look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give you a, a one to 10 on style. And we're going to give you a one to 10 on sexiness, which is not sexiness of you. It's sexiness of the outfit that you're wearing. Okay. All right. And then any of the saints who want to super chat their rating and why, like, here, my rating is this, and it's because of this, feel free to go ahead and send that in right now. And what can they come up here for the drip cam? They can come up uh, here and be know, visible. Yeah, actually, come okay, to yeah. the come to the yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So we'll just take yeah. them one at a time. We'll yeah, let you come up first. Yeah. Walk. Yeah. yeah, drip cam. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was uh Sunbrina, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Take, take that. Uh, take that uh, super chat off the screen because we need to see this. <laughs> All right. We need to see this. All right. Just click one. On, yeah. There you go. Okay. There we go. All right. Boom. So we got her on the drip cam. Jeremy, go ahead and hit him with that 360 form one time. Uh huh. Okay. 
Okay. You got to do it slow because I'm trying to see it too. Yes, yeah, stay, 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 yeah. stay in the middle of the screen, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, Jabrizi, I'm going to let you set it off on the drip. Can. Okay, here we go. Let me see. All right. On the style, right? On the style. All so right. uh, I've had to go ahead and talk about the style. Yeah. You know, on a scale of one through 10, I'm going to give you like a seven. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, here's the thing, right? Okay. It's these snake pants. <laughs> I think they cool, but they just they just not hidden for some reason. I think you I don't like I don't like blue jeans. I hate blue jeans with a passion, actually. Just the if they jeans and they blue, they out. I hate them. Wow. I actually have okay. none in my closet at okay. all. Okay. I am not lying. That's true, because mm. I never seen you in blue jeans. I didn't see you in some weird stuff, but I ain't never seen you in no blue jeans. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. the last thing. Cause I think they're weird. Yeah, you be having yeah. straps and pockets and all kind of yeah, but I'll, I ain't never seen you in no blue jeans. I have like ninja pants. Okay. So uh and then when it comes to this, uh what is this? Is this like a cardigan what is this thing what is it let yeah. me see let me turn my way turn my way god damn that's that's groovy i kind of like that kind of like that all right yeah. for sure okay. uh, like yeah yeah, yeah. my okay. question I, when i see women wearing these things i'm like god damn your head is that big but anyway you're gonna get past that uh you got your head through it obviously so it, uh it definitely is not the side of your head so i look and it, it's covered up so okay. man uh, <laughs> don't worry about them yeah. they're, they're gonna hate they're gonna hate we only read the super chat one so so you can ignore so all of that. yeah they're i'm, I'm gonna give you a seven on style for sure sexiness now i know marquez is gonna probably say something to me yeah. i know he's already going he's getting all this right. he's getting this thing loaded right. um oh, oh my god this is a tough one right. these blue jeans is ugly so i'm not thinking Damn. anything sexy <laughs> Damn. Uh, but you're fitting them real well, though, from, from my perspective, though. Okay. So, um, mm, 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 mm. so I'm going to add a five because uh-huh. the booty there. Let me see. Can you look at him one time? I'm going to add a five. I'm going to add okay. a five. That's because okay. that's half of the, that's okay. half of the battle right there. Okay. But then I like him covered up top, too. So, right. like, and like mm, what are you going to say you about? Uh, I'm gonna give her a. You get a seven and seven. There you go. You get a seven, oh, seven and seven. seven. seven, okay. seven. That's there cool. That's cool. That's respectable. Right. That's yeah. I got you, baby. Don't, no, don't go you don't nowhere. need to go. No, nope. stay yes, your butt right there. Mm-hmm. 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 You're not nah, done. Nah. We just getting warmed up. Turn. Matter of fact. All right. So um, we talking about style, right? Yeah. So I always like to take it from the toes all the way up. Yes. Now, I usually don't like paint. I like things out natural. You hear me? Mm-hmm. I like them booties shaking with a little bit of stretch mark on it. I like them titties hanging. You hear me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, uh, she didn't paint it the toenails. It's a nice neutral purple color. Don't even move the camera. We good. She got uh, the purple toenails. It's, it's cool. Whatever. Then we got the denim jeans. I'm cool with blue jeans. I don't know why my men don't like blue jeans. I'm cool no. with the blue jeans. Uh, however, you do have snakes on the blue jeans. And I feel like metaphorically, nobody want to be around a snake. Am I wrong? Ooh. Quit playing with me. <laughs> Quit playing with me. Don't nobody want to be around a snake. So based on the snake metaphor, you didn't you didn't fuck me up. So I, I didn't drop it a little bit. Um, on the style side, now now face me real quick. The sweater I like because it's a nice brown color. It goes well with your complexion. You heard me. It give you a little more tone. It's got some contrast on it. I like that. Then I'm looking at the way you fit in the jeans and you fit in them right. So you picked out a good pair of pants because I saw one shorty on here had on some motherfucking bell bottoms out here. I was like, no, 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 no. And sometimes people be coming out here with some raggedy ass socks. So I hope your sock game is right, but we're going to get to that later. Mm-hmm. Then I'm looking at the bra, which the bra is actually like a, it's an ornate bra and it, it vibes with the sweater. So I like that. You hear me? And the, the necklace is like, okay, whatever. Do what you do. I'm looking at the makeup. It's not too extreme, so I could appreciate that. Mm. Cool. The hair is nice. Okay, cool. Now, swing around to me. Oh, oh, good. She didn't show me the nails. Let me see. I like these nails because she could wipe her booty. You heard me? <laughs> she, could, <laughs> she could wipe her booty. Uh, some of y'all can't wipe y'all booty. We're going to talk about that later. So that's a beautiful thing. And um, so for the style, I'm going to go ahead and give you... I'm going to give you a seven. I'm going to give you a seven. If you didn't have them snakes on them jeans, I probably would have bumped you up. Cool. Now on the sexiness side, what did you like? Five, three? Five, one. Five, one. Okay. Okay. Carry on. Um, on the sexiness, the jeans is fitting right and the hips is there. You said the booty there, but I'm going to say the hips is there. The booty is all right. The hips is nice. Okay. okay. When you bend it over, it's going to be right. Now, check this out. Check this out. What makes her high on my sexiness rating 
is because I like to keep sh shit super player. I like the flow. You hear me? So if I'm a romance, you, you know, I'm gonna lay you down. I like to flow with it. I don't like, I want to be like, you're like, wow, when'd you put that kind of, I didn't even see you do that. You feel me? <laughs> don't you hate when it's a timeout and they go, hold, hold on one second. And they're over here like trying to tear it open and they fumbling and they like taking all this time. They didn't mess the flow up. You hear me? Once I put that genuine on and you know what I'm saying? And some of that R Kelly, once that go on, you is you getting dick. You hear me? I, I need the flow to be there. Yeah. So what I like when I'm looking at shorty right here, is I could just put my hand behind her back and snap that bra off with one hand. You heard me, magic. You feel mm. you feel what I'm saying? I ain't slowed the flow one bit. Because if you look at the bra, it only got one of them hinged. You mm. see that? This you one see that? that one of them is hinged? Yeah, yeah, only one of them is hinged. There is two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two bras on there? It's two yeah. hinges. Yeah. Oh, they hate on the bitch. They didn't just they didn't just took a bitch rating down. Damn. They didn't just, it was up at eight. They didn't took it down to five. They I didn't know it was two like, bras. Track, she track. got a double bra. There's only you one. didn't hear it's one. No, no, no. It's T D juice. The truth has been juice. revealed. Yeah. T D juice. juice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. She need two bras? Well, so so my one. sexiness. Yeah, this is my my sexiness rating then went down to a five because it's going to take too long to get them titties no, out. No, it's taking no. too long. Y'all got anything to but say I, on this before we go? Keep it in one of my least, If you don't take if the bra off, rating, keep it. Oh. If you don't take the bra off, then you got a great ass. Wait, dude, wait. Then why are you worried about that? Oh, you think you getting smashed with that bra? No, yeah. no, 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 no. You about you to be butt ass. Look, you can grab it from the back and you are not having sex with titties. Is, I, I might I might make her take the earrings off just to be thorough. Now nah, you going to be butt ass. Oh, that's how you know. Yeah. Yeah. Said, yeah. Wipe your makeup off, take it off. Yeah. <laughs> By the time the stroke is over. <laughs> As a matter of fact, take your wig off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they looking <laughs> ugly by the time it's over. Uh oh, you going to just you going to stand there and strip it down for me? Okay, well, we're going to work that out later. Give her a round. Give her a round. Okay. That's good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why are you talking? Mm-hmm. 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 We got a little slim thing coming to the stage. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Mm, she know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, 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 what? 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 Okay. That definitely wow. helps. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to get some, definitely we're about to get some more yeah. views. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to get some more. Look at this. Okay. Uh, real quick, shout out to Ivan Rojas, who comes in via Cash App. He writes, To wish in peace to the Saints. Peace to the Saints. All right. And hit us with those next ones before we go in. He said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot where he at. M. Shaba writes, just jumped on. Looking forward to a great show. Tuition. Peace to the Saints. Next. Peace to the Saints. June. Oh, excuse me. Uh, John Stevens writes, tuition. Peace to the Saints. Peace, Peace to, to the, the Saints. Saints. Pharaoh from the East writes, Persian princess. Get a five for <laughs> style, but she cute. Ooh, five, five is failing. <laughs> it, it, it is. Hit me. We still don't get okay, confidence. We big confidence over here. Yes. 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 yes <laughs> That's right, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Queen. Okay, look, look. All right, now here we go, right here. Okay, look. So um we gonna you are you kicking it off or am I kicking it I off? I think we should trade off each time. You're right, so you're right. Because I kinda wanted it, to, I kinda wanted to kick it off. Okay. okay. I always tell y'all, if you see a, a a black young lady and you gotta and you even feel any inclination to say, "Is that your real hair?" Give her credit because she didn't fool you, and that's a good ass wig. <laughs> Give her credit off the rip. And so I wanna I wanna tell you, I like your wig game is tight, baby. You hear me? Your wig game is tight. I love it. So you get a point there, boom. And I usually start toe all the way up, but we are gonna take it from the head and go down. So we on the style game right now. So face the some, camera, face the camera. Somehow, Matt, she want to face daddy. I oh, see okay. that. I like that instinct. But go ahead and face the camera. But I like your instincts. Yes. I like your instincts. Now, somehow she didn't magically blend it in her root color with her eyelash color or her eyeshadow. Somehow this is crazy. The big eyelashes, I don't really do. But look at me one time. Okay, now look back at them. She actually has larger eyes, so the eyelashes damn near set it off, right? And large eyes are classic. That's classical beauty right there, so I do like that. She got the big white teeth. Make me want to go get my shit white and low-key. You heard me? If you got a coupon for a nigga, uh, shoot it my way. Um, moreover, 
She came out here in Valour uh, like it's 1999. Um, I don't know if I'm signing off on that one. Um, now, now look back at me. Okay. All right, cool. She got the little chain. That's whatever. Do what you do. What's under the velour top, though? Do I? Okay. She got some naturals under there. Okay. Cover them back up. Don't give them too much. She got the naturals <laughs> under there. Cool. And then she got the shorts. And shorts are cool. Wait, turn that to me real one time. Okay, cool. I could work with you. I could work with you. And she got a nice gap here. You hear me? There's a proper term for this. It's a thigh gap. It's, a, that, it's called thigh a thigh gap. gap. It's like a good yeah. Two yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 See, because I'm a goon about mine. I just walk up behind her when she don't even know. And I just grab me a handful like Trump said. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> when, when Trump said that, I'm like, that boy, a real one. I didn't know he knew about that. <laughs> right. It's just, yeah, a handful. I can't do that. Oh, I'll be doing all kind of stuff, girl. What? We might have to do a OnlyFans uh, after hours. You keep playing with me. So, um, so I, I like the shorts. That's boo. So on the style side, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a four and a half. No, 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 no. I'll give you a five because I forgot. I forgot the neck up from the neck up. You nice. But from the neck down, I'm like, ah, so I'm gonna give you a four and a half, five. <laughs> Not, Damn. Hey, but to keep it funky with you, baby, when you go outside, you got to do it like you're doing it for TV. And if you do it right, you might get paid for it. You hear me? Come on now. Learn something from me. Now, uh, do you want to go on for your, your style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So let me see. Okay. Um, all right. I, I guess these, these toes look natural as they can be. Damn, I forgot to go on the yeah, toes. You didn't start from the bottom up, brother. You, that's how you, that's how you messed up. You're, you're nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah nice. Okay, so... The fit, yeah. You know what's crazy? I like a thigh gap too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Don't we like, all? I don't know what it is. Cause you know it's right there. It ain't hiding from you. It's yeah. right there. It's like that's a that's a lot of hip. I need it and it's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, style. Um, this is interesting here, uh, in terms of this fit. Uh, <laughs> is this velvet? No, no. This, what no, is this that's called? That's velour. That's velour. That's what we call it, Yeah. Well, I got to take that as a yeah. note for fashion. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to do something I don't usually do. All right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have my attention. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? I think because you got the thigh gap, mm. this works a lot better. Usually, yeah. I don't end up saying stuff like this, but yeah. I think this is going to be the first time Jabri okay. bumped up his rating. Wow. Uh, so I wow. think because this is perfect for you. This is a perfect, wow. yes. perfect okay. pair of pants for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Yes. What is going on? Yes, queen. All right. So uh, so now as we go up, you got like this wizard uh, uh, robe thing going on. I don't know what this is. But I like it though, because I'm a wizard. So okay. yeah, we're gonna go with that. I like the accessories. So the oh. style, I'm I'm an accessory person. You got the belly button mm -hmm. piercing. I saw uh, that. We got, you got, you got some rings on? No. And you messed up. So uh that's the only piece of jewelry. So the setup. Uh, this ain't about me. All right, this ain't about me. Right. So first right. of all, I'm Come on, saying queen. Come yeah. On, queen. yeah, queen. All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, queen. All right, so look. Uh and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it to we'll, we'll do for style. This is a clean style, I think. Uh Damn. Yes. Ooh, you eight. high, bro. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. You high. Uh, hit us with those super chats, Juwan. Wow. You, you, whoo. I didn't think you were going to hit her. Your, your sex, your, whoo. What's up? Whoo. What? Sex appeal is on point. Let your, them know. Whoo. I'm, I'm surprised know. at your style rating. Even if I was trying to give you a rating, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have put it at that. That's really, you like that gap. You like I do. that gap. I do. Yeah. Okay. Um, Unbounded Reality writes, Marquette threw the E on there. I don't even know who he's talking about. Marquette, I don't think you are going to like Miss Form. She is going to try to ask for your sign and read your energy. Oh, send her my way. I can put her on a few things. Follow me at Chase Signs. Who is Form? The shot has been shot, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was going to be her. Oh no. yeah, reading them tarot cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah for she sure. She said it's the energy. Yeah. She said she was like, she was like, hold up. No, I, my sister got a feel. Don't you understand, nigga? It's the energy. It's the energy. I'm like, all right, well, all right, well, all right. Well, I guess she didn't read the tarot cards. Sabian Ray <laughs> writes, "Peace to the Saints." MLK vid was great. A lot of knowledge dropped. Truly appreciate it. Yes. 
Mackenzie writes, Saint and Sinner will take this format to the next level, level 10 times. Yes, indeed. And shout out to the co host, shout out to Jabrizi Magic. Thank you, shout thank out to you. the folks working the soundboard. Shout out, shout out to the ladies. Yeah, we're taking it. Pharaoh writes, Gray hair get a seven point fitted eye because she ready for spaghetti. She ready for spaghetti. Now, Saint, I'm wondering the same damn thing because that's like a floppy noodle, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. A, yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah, that's a floppy huh? noodle. Oh, hey. All spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, I get it. We all caught up? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, he tricking me. Jay. Jay writes, cuteness and white feminine energy is through the roof. She's an introvert, so y'all going to need to engage her directly. Want to hear from her. Okay. Oh, he talking about her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we we got her on the list. She hey, don't be fooled. She, she's over here like. She made that face like <laughs> nigga. Who you talking about? <laughs> she made that face like nigga. You're talking to me. Uh. Okay. Cool. Now. So now we on this sexiness rating. Okay. okay. Oh no, she ain't innocent. We uh uh oh, no. no sir. So we on the sexiness rating. Um. I don't know. Look at the camera for now, and I'm gonna just call you back and forth. <laughs> Yes. So I like confidence, right? Confidence is extremely seductive in a male or a female, right? Mm -hmm. And she has that. And that's rare in women. You heard me? A lot of them, they don't, they don't have that natural confidence. They got arrogance. They, they got, <laughs> <laughs> usually they need a P to inspire them. She already inspired and I like that. She got the nose ring and I damn near didn't even notice it because she got so much flair going on, but I can, I can dig it. Yes, indeed I can. Um, so for the sexiness, this is a sexy outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a 6.5. And the reason I gave you a 6.5, yeah, you're wondering why. Cause with your body, I feel like you could have made me want it more. You heard me? Cause check this out. Face me real quick. See, you got a nice flat stomach. You could have gave me a little bit more on the stomach. You know, you, you, ooh, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Uh -oh. Get her away from me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get away. She's, she's trying, trying to get, get that, trying to get that, that number up. Yeah. But see, yeah, the stomach is flat. She could have did a lot more to me. You heard me? Yeah. Well, I'm not. Uh -oh. no. not while the camera's filming. <laughs> um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her a 6.5 for the sexiness. Mm. I know for sure when I'm back shotting it, I'm going I'm to tear that weave out on accident. I'm a, she gonna tell me in advance, like, nigga, don't grab my hair. But at some point, I'm gonna accidentally. You said win with the confidence, like, like yeah. you know you was gonna do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize. Did I say win? Yes. Oh well, that's how I'm living. <laughs> that's how I'm living. I said what I said. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. All right, let me see. Mm. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Right, so. Yeah. Mm. Really look at devour it. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm thinking. Give me a moment, guys. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> she gave me the shoulder too. Right, now off. you go. This is how you want to wear it. No. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Can I get a spin? Can I get a, can I get a spin? Yeah. One good time. How do you want it? I'm a. I'm a. How do you need this? Is, this. These. These. This. Some yeah, unique, unique days. You, yeah. You gave it a six, huh? Uh, 6.5. Yeah, 6.5. 6.5. Yeah, 6.5. All right. I'm a... Oh, man. This is... Mm. <laughs> the anticipation for what I might say. Go Everybody's ahead. wondering, huh? Y'all yeah, wondering. What will I say? I have you on the edge. I can... God damn. She earned it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we might have to get nine. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She didn't earn herself a okay. nine. I didn't okay. even earn a nine out of me. That's crazy. You yes. want to pop up the super chat? Oh, I, 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 I got a 10. I got a 10. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch in. Uh, switch in the next girl. Justin writes, slim, goody, God, chocolate drop. Yeah, uh, feel Face. free to earn your, your, earn your rating for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He writes, uh, face card is fire. So he says she fine in a real way. Yeah, period. Unbounded reality oh, wow. writes Marquette properly. I appreciate that. He writes my apologies. <laughs> Accepted. 
Much appreciated. Right, right. Right. <laughs> See, this one right here, she be surprising you. She the one that be sitting down, you be looking at it, and she stand up. You be like, oh, okay. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, look. Um, so you kicking it off on the style. style. Okay, okay, here we go. Let me see. I hate playing with a passion, and you messed up when you came up when I was here today. So look, I hate playing. I don't like that one. pattern. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Nah, nah. Tell nah. her what you told the last one about oh, plaid. Oh yeah, I said yeah. that's the most sickening color I think anybody could ever wear. This is the most hideous pattern that you could buy. I don't even know why you have it in your closet, but let's continue. Mm. All right. <sighs> You get it too. Damn. Damn. I, th I think we, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a record in the history of the Saint City podcast. Too old style. I, I think that's the lowest rating. I don't like plaid. We've ever had. I don't like plaid. Okay. Plaid to run up. It's Sorry. on me now. I don't. I don't. All right. So here we go with the. Yeah, it is. And I'm, I'm a. Uh, I'm Tyra Banks on like the last season. It's yeah. so bad. On oh, Saint. Oh, I love it, but I can't. Mm. By the I way, do it. We, we got too much sound bleeding. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Quiet it down. Mark, what's next? So, Saints, start sending your questions for the discussion portion. If you have questions you want answered by any of these gorgeous, intelligent ladies, please send in your questions now um, so that we have them all the way loaded up before we get going. Now, on the style side, uh, so we got a little red bone thing right here, and I'm starting mm -hmm. back from the bottom like I always should. Mm -hmm. She got the light colored toenails, which you already like. I kind of would have liked if you would have contrasted. Even if you would have threw that orange on the toenails, you would have caught me slipping, and I would have liked it. See, but I'm catching you today, though. But look, <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm trying to make excuses. Uh, so then she got on the 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 plaid red, you know. Uh, shout out to my damus. But um, you know, I wouldn't be out in LA with you wearing these pants. You heard me? You you mess around and get us both caught slipping. So I can't go out in public with you with these on. Um, but they, I, you know, it's whatever. Um, they fitting right though. I'm gonna tell you all that they fitting right. And she got bell bottoms, and mm. I don't feel the bell bottoms with this pattern. I feel a bell bottom is something for denim. Mm, I don't feel the pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the shirt. Uh, let me see the shirt from the front. Let me see the shirt from the front. I don't know if these are natural, but they look natural, and I like that. They are natural. Yeah, that's yeah. We don't. You don't know till you squeeze them. You heard me. You that's don't right. know till you take a squeeze. You definitely don't. Um, but they look natural, and that's a beautiful thing. So shout out to your doc if he did that for you. Um, <laughs> you, you did. Yeah. Uh, now, 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 look at me. Okay. Uh, look at me. There we go. Okay, so I, I like this tattoo in the middle right here, and I'm not even into tattoos like that, but I like that one. I already designed your next tattoo, by the way. We talk about that later. You got the large hoop earrings, and you know I'm kind of feeling it. You hear me? I feel like if if we was driving somewhere and the police pulled up and I handed her the ooh wop, oh here, put this away. She had put it away she for would. me. Yeah, I appreciate that. And um, I I don't know what you got going on in the teeth. I think you got some sparkles on there, but. You, somehow I'm feeling it. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why or how. Sometimes I'm feeling it. Now I'm trying to remember. Have I ever got brain from a chick with a tongue ring? I don't know. Oh, damn. I got two tongue rings. What? Wait, let me oh. Oh. Huh? Damn. Huh? Damn. Feels nice. I'm gonna I let you know. I don't know how she make it through a metal detector. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a monitor, like beep 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 beep. Um. Wait. You got hit by a chick with a tongue ring? Oh, Jesus. You, you're bisexual. <laughs> Just pause real quick. you bisexual. No. You straight girls only? Hmm? Girls only? No. <laughs> Shut your ass up <laughs> till I finish. No, 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 it takes a certain female. Like, you have to be a certain female. I'm very picky oh, when it comes to females. Use a some timer. Yes. Use a some timer. Yes. Okay. And a lot of people don't like that, so I try not to say it. But. No, I respect that because I got a couple of chicks who are lesbians <laughs> till the till the big homie pull up. So I, don't I feel like you. All girls. I feel you. Okay, like so check girls. this out. Like On style, yeah. uh, let me see this chain real quick. Oh, oh those okay. are two two dolphins. No. Uh -uh. Don't hide it now. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't okay. hide it now. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. And really, I'm telling you this, and I'm dead ass. I don't. I don't want you to ever do this again. Uh, do not mix gold and silver like that or gold and platinum. No. For me, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Look, don't. Okay. Don't ever do that. Guy. Okay. No, so I'm just, it's okay. Yeah. Now you know. Said, we wasn't expecting this. I was not. You should always act and, like And because I show love, like I'm even willing to finance a gold tongue ring just because I ain't never seen one. I'm a, I, I finance one for you if you show me what it do. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, um, so I like that. And then we get to the hair. Saints, I love natural hair. You heard me? I absolutely love natural hair. So she got the dreads. 
I could dig it. She threw the orange that works with your coloration. You heard me? It worked with the coloration. So I appreciate that. Now, I don't know how her dreads smell. I would have to smell them to see if I'm really messing with them. <laughs> Put it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I would have oh, to damn. smell them, but, oh, but from here they look good. From here they smell good. You dig? So the style rating, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a. I'm gonna give you a five because because you're you. You hear me? If you were somebody else with this whole look, it would be lower. But because you're you, I'm gonna give you a five. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like you you're you're a whole vibe. If I see you, I ain't gonna see nobody that look like you that day. Mm. Yeah. Nah. Go ahead. Um, now we on the sexiness. sexiness. All right, so you boss. All right, here we go. So the only thing that's saving you on the sexiness rating, I'm Damn. gonna let you know. The only thing. Yeah, the only thing. Yeah. The only thing that's saving you is how these bell bottoms is fitting. Right. It's the only thing that's saving right. you. And also, what's saving you on the sexiness rating is, I don't think I ever got brain from a girl. <laughs> they got jewels in her mouth. Not me either. I, I didn't, yeah. Just not even a tongue ring. Just yeah. some jewels in her mouth. Like just so when she smile, mm -hmm. it's like, damn, is that a grill? Yeah, like you know, you just get fascinated. Yeah. You be just like, but see, it makes you think. Huh. It makes yeah, you exactly. Think. Like it's take it take my brain out of it. You can get in the head. I'm just like, <laughs> well, goddamn, that's that's nice. It can be lasting longer. Yeah, every day. she be leaving a jewel on you. <laughs> huh. You find a jewel in your underwear, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, how does it get here? Uh, All right, oh but um, God. yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I like that. Um, so I'm I'm like just trying to see what I can think, and I don't think, I don't think, uh. I like dreads. I, I like dreads. Okay. I like I like them particularly the way that you have them. Wow. So the way that you have them mm -hmm. is like the way that I like them. Wow. Where okay, they're thin, crazy. long, and and yeah. like in a big ponytail. Yeah. So that's that's dope. So you yeah, you about to get beat down. Yeah, yeah. like seven. Yeah, yeah. seven. Uh, yeah, beat beat downable. Yeah. Shake yeah. your dreads. Yeah. Yeah. Shake yeah. Your dreads. Yeah. 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 Put on some Mac Dre in the back. But, yeah. but that plaid yeah. that plaid making me not want to talk to you though. Okay, um, sexiness six. Uh, next, throw up them super chats for us. Six, thank you, love. I love how many tattoos can we not see though? Mm. You, what, what can we not see? That's always the interesting question. Yeah, I have one on my ankle. Yeah, you can't see. I mean, like, you're wearing a thong, not a G string though, and that bothers me. You're wearing a thong, not a G string, and I need you to be wearing a G string at all times. Praise the Lord. That's what I really want to know. All right, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. You, you like how I did that? You like how I set that up? Okay. All right, next lady. Um, by the way, shout out to Homer sends through a, a super sticker. And shout out to Sean. He writes, Peace to the Saints. These shorties are very haram. I'd smack it down still, though. You know what haram is. Yes, I do. Indeed. <laughs> is he lying? <laughs> <laughs> Ishmael El Amin writes, Peace to the Saints. Ain't been here in a minute, but glad to be back. Shawty with the orange faux locks can definitely slide these through. Are not faux, baby. These are real groom faux scout, ho. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she said, I don't have no attitude. She was the first one saying, I don't have no attitude. Take a lot to get me mad. Look what she just did. And now we figured it out. We figured it out today. Um, did she call me? She, is my mic still on? Yeah, it's still on. You can hear me through the mic? Okay. It sound weird. You it's hear probably me? just the headphones. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, my headphones are off. That's what's going on. Okay, somebody can mess around. It's, I think, you know what, the headphones, I think they're just getting loose. I got to buy um, a new cord. She didn't call the grown man a hoe. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to finish reading his super chat, if you don't mind. He said, uh, I stay in Summerlin. So he kind of gave you the, the, the slap, but then the rub on the back with it. You hear me? I don't so like he, that back. You don't like that. So you you saying you ain't pulling up to Summerlin. Ain't a chance. I mean, I stay there, but no. Oh, she didn't let stay you know. So she is pulling up to Summerlin. Huh, right. She just threw that out there. Okay. Damn, bro. You're gonna have to catch her and just apologize. She might <laughs> she might get some head or something. I don't know. Say something else. Nah, nah, don't apologize. <laughs> okay. Um, unbounded reality, right? Shorty says she ain't a lesbian, but for a piece, she had turned pesbian. Wow. What is that? Term. P oh, is it Peasbian? I, I think he said for a P. It's too close to Peasbian. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Hit I us. Like Hit us with it. the next one. Oh, Sean said, "Don't do it, Saints. Those piercings hurt." Okay. Fair oh, enough. he know. Huh. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. He didn't just expose you. Baller alert. Hit us with the it depends on the motion. Baller alert. Throw it up there. 
Yeah, it depends on what they could do with it. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to answer this. Wait, who's trying to give a demo? Hold on, wait. I can't. I want to answer Answer it. Because maybe you come to a grandma when I meet. Okay. Okay. With y'all, y'all, the problem is y'all don't have a problem with big girls, y'all have a problem with y'all self. So, Cause baby, trust me, this is something I came from work. Thank you very much. How to get that coin? That's one, but don't play with me because I put it on. Thank you very yeah. much. She and, didn't, and baby, she trust me. Did. She I'm looking like just, my mama's son right now. Yes, this is a, a, a old navy jacket and a Target sweater uh, and some Target jeans, baby. But guess what? When I step, I step. Don't play with it like I said. <laughs> Everybody, five seconds. Give everybody five seconds to shut the fuck up. Five, zero, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we all, we all, we all back here. Excuse me. You got it off your chest. We 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 gonna come back. You got it off your chest. We just gonna bring it back to we gonna woo sa. All right, rub behind your earlobes, everybody. Rub behind your earlobes. Woo sa. Woo sa. Yes, yes. All right. Let me see how my Okay. All right. All right. All right. Everybody be quiet. Yeah. Thank right. you. Baller alert. Oh, Akalis no. Benjamin writes, it's going to be awkward for the... No, put it back up. We got to read no, that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't get to read it. I didn't get to read it. Yeah. I didn't even get to read it. Yeah. Period. I mean, he said what he said. Look. He said he didn't. No, we got you. We got you. Uh, Akalis Benjamin writes, it's going to be awkward for the big girl next to Quet Ooh. to participate on this trip camp. This super chat goes toward her exemption fee. This y'all need a whole wow. lot more than even, that for an exemption so fee. So that's y'all. why you went up then. I didn't even read that one. That, that's oh, what no, I did. I didn't go up. I just keep seeing the comments and people just they be talking shit like I don't go Jay, fuck about these Jay, people what, they don't what I, me. Jade, what I tell you from the beginning? Did I tell you not, did I tell you not to read the comments? Right. Was you here when I said don't read the comments? <laughs> no, well, no, I don't think I heard that part. She wasn't okay. here. She wasn't, oh, she wasn't here. She wasn't here. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, them comments is ruthless as hell. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. them comments is ruthless. So yeah, ruthless. Qu- quit reading them comments. Let's take oh, yeah. it. All right. Oh, I uh, took yeah, yeah. Song. yeah, Paul Hurst and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Drop a drop a Molly in her shit. Okay, look. Um, Jay writes to pay for exemption fee tax. Oh, these. <laughs> okay, carry it on. Carry it on. Pharaoh writes pants fit nice. Shorty look nasty. Too much makeup though. Six point five. She threw you right under the bus. No, really not. No, 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 really not. I like the way she said. She said it's so smooth. She said, she said who? She said, girl, I think it's you. Yeah, yeah. That's that friend that's too honest. She's not wearing pants. That's a good friend. That's a good friend. I like you. I like you. That's a good one. Okay. Hit us with the next one. All right. Um, Jay writes, big girl, stop. It is not about your fit. It's about your fitness. I'm very healthy. Hashtag, but okay. Even though it's not coming to your eye. Shots fired out here. He even tried to use some wordplay. He said it's not about your fit. It's about your fitness. They getting clever he out here. He did. 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 It's the hunger for me. Bowler alert. Sean Muhammad writes, not trying to hurt your feelings, baby girl, no. but you need to be in calorie you deficit. More than 49.99, love. Damn. 
You want to go in Go ahead. Take a shot back at him. Take a shot back at him. No, I said he got to say more than forty nine ninety nine. Okay, good enough. Any fitness advice? Tell him tomato, tomato. Jakai, pop that. Uh, uh, oh, um, Jawan, pop that up for us. <laughs> exactly, but uh, it's fine. Jay I writes, running that mouth just needs to be running. He's <laughs> oh, gonna keep running, love. <laughs> you <laughs> thought you ate, boo. Oh my lord. This comment section is evil. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it ain't never worked. Truly not. It ain't never worked. Period. It ain't. <laughs> Look, <laughs> what's the next? Is there another one? First of all, she's all one right. of the most confident people. Jolik writes, "Big girl just went super saiyan." Okay. No, I is this is this the trolls from the TikTok? Super no, I'm glad y'all no, it's here. not. It's not. <laughs> Put on Maximo. So oh, all right, I, Maximo yeah. writes. These tricks can't even hit the like tricks. button. Peace to the saints. He's talking about in the Peace chat. To the saints. Yeah, hit oh. hit the yes. like. Peace <laughs> to the saints. Thank you, love. <laughs> Uh, go ahead with Zest D. He writes, this lady in the black dress looks just like my ex and is making me nostalgic. <laughs> Super elegant, beautiful, and pretty. 10 of 10 on style. 10 of 10 for sexiness. I'm biased though. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, look. Okay. Uh, and shout out to, to Bridget. For, for doing this recruitment because she did this right. All right, now look, we starting off with the style. Style, yes. Okay. You, you gonna show us something? I mean, come on now, baby, it's game time. Okay. Did you say, what do I wanna see? Uh, turn turn the camera, block the camera. <laughs> block the camera, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> what do I wanna see? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so, all right. Give me, give, hit me with that 360 real quick. Um, now, let me ask you a stupid question. Is there anything, if you unzip that jacket, it's just a dress, right? So you didn't just went black on black like that. You just went black on black. And then you're going to zip it up like you're going to unzip it and there's something under there. You're playing head games. Look how it changes with the zip, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're you playing head games. She know what she's doing. Okay. <laughs> All right. And, and what shoes did you come in here in? Oh, right. And I can't, I can't hate her for that. I'm going to tell you why I can't hate her for that. Cause everybody know when you come in here, it's shoes off. So I came in here and some, yeah, yeah. No, the socks look good. I was just, I was just, you know, so on the style, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. She said, look, I bleached my socks. I'm a discount. <laughs> right. From, from the ankles down. I'm not even counting them from the ankle down. Cause you knew not to come in here wearing those shoes. Uh, this is a fun, I don't know who the, who shaved your legs, but they did a good job. They shine in out here. Uh, they look lovely. Um, the dress is fitting. Wait, hold on a second. I'm to swing the other way. I'm left-handed. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the dress is fitting righteously. Yeah. Everywhere. So it fit righteously. But I got to dock you because you threw a jacket on. This is why. Because you're playing head games. Because here's the thing. You got the short dress, so apparently it's hot. Try to get your points back up. A, ja a jacket is to stay warm. <laughs> she wearing half a jacket. Jacket wear. Yeah. Okay. Who was he speaking? And then, about? then we coming up. You got one little tattoo under the arm. It's like she's still trying to get a professional job, so she kept it low key. So it's nice and elegant. What is, what does it say, by the way? You got a Bible verse on there. You've been docked for that now. See, you got a Bible verse in your in your Instagram profile too. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. <laughs> this man was an Instagram. Profile. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how they do. That's how they do. Wait. You, you, now we talking about you right now, baby. You got that chain on. Pop that chain out for your boy one time. Okay, that's cool. It's subtle. I like that. That's subtle. And they go with the earrings too. Okay, that's cool. And I like the hair. The hair game is strong. You know that. Yeah, yeah. I like the way you're looking at me too. That's gonna that's gonna bump it up like half a point too. The makeup is really natural. This is shocking because the makeup almost looked like it's not there. And let me to the ladies who are watching this, put some respect on my name for the game I'm about to give you. If your face is one color and your neck is a whole different ass color, your ass is fired, okay? Oh your ass is fired. So your face and your neck is the same color. That's a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. okay? The hair is nice. So for the style, taking you from head to toe without this motherfucking bullshit ass jacket right here, I'm going to go ahead and give you a seven on the style. Okay, I'm passing it off. That's his friend for real. What's that? Contest. Well, she said, that's his friend for real, for real. I heard you. Said, that's right. his, I, I, I can hear his, we'll, we'll his favorite or his friend? You was giving your review. Go I, ahead. I never met her. 
I never met her. Yeah, we just met. Oh. Yeah. Another late. She want me to roast your ass a little more though. I got you. I got yeah. you. Everybody else got Females be shade tree. Oh, Damn. I'll let you yes. earn some more points. Right, here we go. Oh, you don't want to keep on that uh the little bend it over for real. Saints, and this is why you gotta you know manage what? your stable. <laughs> you get to choose it. Choose it. You wanna wear it? <laughs> Do you want to wear it? That's the right question. That's the right <laughs> question. I want you to choose. Cause I want to know how you're gonna look when I see you. Not how you not how you wanna like come to me. Is it like this? Okay, this is good. Okay, so all right, let me see. Um, it's just a dress. Okay, so great. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so this this dress, great. I actually like these type of dresses. I don't yes, know why. They're just okay. very simplistic. Eh, I like the sundress type look. You know. Keep going. Yeah. So this is this is good. This is this is good points here. I think it's simplistic. I think uh, a lot of women should try this. Do it. It's uh, they should own a couple of these in their closet. You can never go wrong with this type of dress here. Uh, I like how it scrunches too. I like the texture uh, that it's making. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, this necklace. What, what's this necklace here? <laughs> Why you got it tucked in? Yeah, she did that. She put it right back in. Okay. Oh, okay. For sure. Okay. And and I like the way your hair is done. For sure. For sure. Like this is a nice look here. It's not too much. You know, give me like that that young vibe. You know, you got the little clips in it too. So. Mm. <clears throat> And you had to show your socks and they white. So you get points for white socks. Because I know you put them on like some fresh socks before you came here. Mm. For sure. For sure. You took off them dirty socks, socks and you put on the don't white socks. Yeah. Yeah. So, socks is always white. Uh, so, uh, don't try to do yes, queen. Okay. So look, as I'm saying, all right. Uh, and uh, I like the earring game. I like the earring game. Mm. Wait, how high did they go though? I only have two. Just two. Wow. On each ear. Mm. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just, 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 just analyze and take everything. This style, this style is simplistic. I, is I'll get this. Yeah. This gets like a, you get a seven point five. Seven point five. It's good. It's like it's not yeah. bad. Like, Simple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Period, yeah. Chris. yeah. Cool. She act like I gave a seven, and that was like sky high. Yeah, she said that must be his friend. And look, let me. Um, yeah, and I, I don't yeah. know this woman. I feel Plant like Bill. Pants. Yeah, I feel like Bill Clinton out here when they're talking about Monica Lewinsky. Like I don't know this <laughs> woman. <laughs> look. Yes. Yeah, I have not had sexual relations with anyone uh in the room uh presently. So <laughs> so um look, one thing I want to let all these young peas know is you really got to manage your stable cuz you see these are all good women, friendly women, but you heard how Shorty right here tried to jump out at her. You heard me? It get like that. So mm -hmm. you got to get that evil up out of them. You got to get that evil up out of them cuz it's always there. <laughs> Was that? What did we say? What was evil? You got to speak evil? into the mic so I can hear you. Turn, turn what, what, what was evil? I'm going to tell you. So number one, we like to keep it sanely, keep it positive, right? Unless we cracking jokes, you heard me? So you said, because your rating wasn't where you wanted your rating to be, you said I must be friends with her, which is not the case, because number one, the big homie don't have female friends. They got to pay to play. You heard me? They can't be chilling with a pimp. I ain't a rest haven. So that's number one. She got to work if she's going to be with me. And then number two... Uh, a female recruited her on my behalf. You heard me? Because I don't do nothing but clip my fingernails. And then number three, we doing the rating. You ain't doing the rating. But I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Nah, but, but it's all good, though. It's all good, though, because you're a real female. And I appreciate that about you because I see that you keep it all the way real. Even when you had to bust out your girl right here, right next to you, you, okay, you bust her ass out right. straight away. <laughs> So, so she's a real one. Because you must she's like real. I'm That's just saying because you, what you did was uh -huh. you had two females before her, mm. three females right. before her, mm. and everybody got a super low rating. And then mm. she went up there, not saying she's not the baddest bitch in this room. I ain't said I, I that. Say that. I the the that. baddest one is the one that earned the most. But go ahead. But, <laughs> but I'm not saying like she's because she's like she is a whole package. Like she's amazing. When she mm. walks through the door, she sends like this glow. When she right, walks right. through the door, like, she's right. amazing. So. But it's like everybody else walked up there. You were like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. See? Oh, okay, fine. Now but let me she share. Walked up there, you like, I'm gonna give you a salt seven. It's nah, like, first, I it's first, like you can't I, That's yeah, yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Hate it, but it's like, let me let me help y'all with some of this pimping. Let me help y'all with some of this pimping. 
So see, this is why she couldn't be your bottom girl. Cause your bottom bitch, she gotta be the one that A follow daddy directions, but B, she's good at playing well with others. You heard me? This is why you don't pay no pimping. Yeah. <laughs> she gotta be good at playing well with others. See, her oh, thing I love is playing with others. So exactly. which she might not be the bottom bitch, but what she is gonna be, she's gonna be a good earner because she has a competitive spirit. So she always want she want most of daddy's attention. So she's gonna bring daddy back some good money because she wants to be the top dog. Now let me tell you how she got a short memory though. See, because when you came up here, uh -huh. huh? when you came up here, I believe I gave you more compliments than I gave her. Because of my thigh gap. No. You don't remember how I talked about your highlights in your oh, hair, you matching your hair. You did. Yeah. And then I was talking about the pretty white teeth, right? You did talk mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't make me recount the whole thing because no, she want to hear daddy no, compliment no, no, her but, again. But listen, you That's had the to thing. Give a, <laughs> she just want to get complimented when twice. Came, when it came to me, you had to give a whole like, okay, your hair. Like okay, it's going to be natural. Okay, this. But with her, yeah. you said, oh, yeah, seven. You didn't even like, give it. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm, no, 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 no I'm going to tell you why. But no, because now it's like you're making it seem like I'm just hating on her, but I'm not. No, it's okay. That's no, why we're here. No. We're here to share this ism. So it's a beautiful thing. I'm just breaking mm -hmm. down so you understand it, so they understand what's happening. Because right. sometimes our intentions are mysterious to us. Like, we don't even know what we're doing. And that's why I'm breaking it down. So here's the thing. Now, if we lined you up and we lined her up, there's not as much going on here as there is going on there. You heard me? Probably See, you, you got all kinds of flair going on, right? Yeah, it's just it's a plain black, simple. it's just a plain black and dress. that's what you like, right. and that is okay. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, <laughs> look, <laughs> look, <laughs> look. She, be, she like, right. keep, she Don't saying so, but she like slick with it though. She like, she like, and that's hey. what you like, but it's right. okay. Right. Right. Like, <laughs> hey, I want everybody to know that's my bitch. You hear me? That's my bitch. Period. Because they only fight like that. They only act like that when, when they're yours. You hear me? And I got love for you, baby. I got love for you. Don't doubt it. I got love for you. Okay, so carrying on to the sexiness. Do you mind if I do you mind if I tell her a little First something? Of, all, of course. You mind if I tell her a little something? Because she is 10 out of 10. But okay. you ain't rating her. 10 out of 10. 10 all right, look. 10 out of 10. Now look. 10 out of 10. Um... Look, look, we're talking sexiness, right? Yeah, sexiness. Okay. It, all right, ladies, quiet. Why. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I need that. I it's need that. Give them 360. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, See, gotta slow, though. She started moving. Pop the hip. Pop the hip. Pop the hip. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yeah. Quiet contact. Pop okay. that champagne okay. bottle again. So, yeah. damn, she almost didn't took up a whole screen. Yes, ma'am. So, so, here's the thing. Crazy. Number one, this is a situation where you you thought you was gonna put a condom on, and you ain't get around to it, and, and you just <laughs> you, you, ain't even, you ain't even get around to it. You didn't mess around and shot the club up. You heard me? Um, this one you be doing nasty stuff. You ain't you ain't even know you be doing. Um, but as far as sexiness go, them them thighs is right. Like you be working out, huh? You play soccer. Black people don't even be watching soccer, but um, <laughs> it, it did your thighs right, though. It did your thighs right. That complexion is nice, too. In terms of the, but we're, we're rating the actual outfit, though. So in terms of the sexiness of the outfit, no, we were the style first. And we did style, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Get her. You got a cup of coffee for her? Yeah. Wake her up. Okay. So on the sexiness of the outfit. I probably give it like a five because I feel like if we going sexy, it could have been a little shorter. If we going sexy, Cleavage. the 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 titty meat could have been out there a little bit. Um, so I probably give it like a five on sexy. Is, mm -hmm. is that okay with you, baby? <laughs> I would have gave her. A no, no, I'm just. Is, is that a yes I mean, or no? A five. Is that okay with you? I would have gave her like at the very like crazy. minimum uh -huh. like a. A six on sex on sexiness, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because the dress is very sexy. She may not be showing cleavage, but it gives you more to like imagine. Wonder, like the fantasy. I, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need three inches taken off the bottom. Go ahead, Jabrizi. Her skirt is. She can make it shorter. Tell her to pull the strings. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. She done pulled them strings. I promise you. Yeah. That's what them strings do. <laughs> yeah. My shorts. Can I pull the string? Mark, quit pulling string. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, her dress is like my shorts. Like, you pull a string. That went up like an elevator. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what you to Here we go. Um, 
All right, here I am today. Uh, Welcome. Sexiness. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, I always say this every episode, the more covered up, the better. And uh, this dress does it just right for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is good. I like it. Very mysterious. I don't know what's underneath, but I can imagine. Yay. <laughs> right? Yay. I know exactly what's underneath. I love it. I love it. Not a goddamn I love thing. It. I love it. So, uh, yeah. wait, can, 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 can you just... Well, it just sit on the table. She's putting it on the table. Like, this is this is like on the it. table. This is like the most nice. appreciative oh. thing I've ever seen happen to my table. This is crazy. You just it, it has its own seat. It found a place. But look, I give you a nine. I like the I like I like I like, the, I like it's more covered up. It's more I like I like conservative looks. I like that looks sexy to me. More conservative looks. All right, I'll see yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Juwan, can you pull up those super chats for us? Uh, shout out to Farrell from the East. He writes, Black dress is a nine. She bad. She yeah. bad. That is it. That is all. I'm almost wondering, do we need to... Is it is it okay if Jay sit here? You want... Jay, switch. Let her get over here, Jay. Let, come here. You you want to be right here. Let her... Jay, switch with her, baby. Switch with her. We're going to go in the same order and Jay going to be last. I, I need my main thing right here. She says she don't like me to have no friends, no nothing. Mm. You hear me? Bring mm. my main thing over here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hey, sit more diagonally. Yes, yeah, so they can see yeah. your face. Yeah. Uh, no, like yeah. really diagonally. Okay. Wait. Chris writes, He's don't, see you'll too. see if you'll see yourself. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, Chris writes, don't get triggered. Everyone ain't for everyone. Yeah, and there's yeah, someone yeah. for everyone. Yeah, Chill yeah. attitude gets you far. Definitely. That's good advice for for us as well as for the viewers, and um, that that's a very saintly comment. So that's a beautiful message to share. Carlos writes, "Shawty in the white fan, drop her IG. I got you, I got you, player. It's in the description. You heard me? It's in the description. And I'm a, I'm about to talk. I'm gonna talk so much shit to her because I like a little low key, demure, quiet thing. You're, you got to bring it." Yeah, uh, I want to say this. Also, hey guys, just so it don't mess up the algorithm of the YouTube, because mm -hmm. they start hitting links, and then it take them away. Oh, all right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. So, okay. hey, go to my Instagram if you want any one of these girls' links, and just tap it, and there you go. It's right there. There it is. Right? Okay. All right, Sean Muhammad <laughs> writes, "You're damn right. She the most confident. Pretty girls always be so insecure. Then these." <laughs> Hold on one second, one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you respond. I'm gonna let you respond. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll I'm gonna let you respond. We'll respond. You. But but the thing that's the thing that's trippy is I feel like I'm getting set up to be disrespectful because I be reading it and then it just he says the pretty girl he wrote that so slick the pretty girls be so insecure, but these big walruses got about six hundred pounds. <laughs> Let me talk to Sean real quick, right? No, Sean look, wait, hold on. Before you even talk to Sean, because go ahead, grab the mic, grab the mic. Because the comment was directed this way. Don't get no, pick it up, hold it, hold it. Go in. Sean, you know, you you give me, um, you download like big girls, cause that's what we get Ooh. a lot. Like, no, okay. real, real talk. Okay. That's what we get. People come and they come and they come, but they be in your DMs and on your phone. Like, can I get it? And you can never get a taste. Did we Ever. put your IG in the description? I said it at the real time. Jamie on Allen, and it's private. Uh, and Sean, if I see you, trust me, you do, you cannot get in. You uh, can't sit with us. He didn't mess the bag up. <laughs> oh, mess the bag Sean didn't mess the bag up. They said, the, they said the bigger girls got the walk. They got the walk, walk. You missing out on all of it, and she's still yeah. But no, it's okay because I've been in a very healthy seven year relationship. Seven years, yeah. Lord, I'm trying to get like you, boy. <laughs> trying to get like you, I'm trying to get like you, <laughs> Mr. Newtown, aka Twatty Lottie, writes this girl fine as hell, but that other girl look like <laughs> in the Macum, in the Macum. What the? What I'm a. You just said something. I, I, yeah, yeah, hey, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Carrying on. Oh, man. Can y'all phonetically spell it next time so y'all have me looking bad out here? Y'all spelling this shit. High Draft writes, Peace of the Saints. I sense this channel will experience a meteoric rise in the next three to six months. Too much ism to ignore. Also, 
do the ladies like light skinned men? No, no, no. 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 God damn, am I light skin? We love talking. Is it my light skin? Oh, no, she they need that authentic black. Yes, baby, oh. say it in the mic because we like chocolate. Oh my yes. lord! Mm. Wait, one more time, one more time. We like chocolate. Make eye contact with yes. me when you say we it. We like chocolate. Oh my lord! <laughs> like, oh, no, look at you. She we like meant chocolate. it. She chocolate. But all I'm trying to figure out is, did you start chocolate. liking like chocolate it. when you showed yeah. up here? Did you like chocolate before you came? Where is this brand yes. new? Always. Always. Okay. This, is brand new. This, is, this is groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. right here, it's represent so chocolate right well. Bring them over to Amazing. Wait, wait, yes, wait. definitely. They wait. be on the DL. Wait, time out, time out, time out. She Eric, said stop. it right. She stop. said it right. Stop. Stop. Eric, right. stop talking. Grab this mic. What did you just say? Yeah. I will repeat it, but you told me in the elevator I can't no, say no, that. No, no, you can say this. You're you're you're, you're, you're stating a go statement. Is, yeah. mm, they're gonna hate me. Okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Light skinned guys be suspect for real. It's fuck. Okay, this they is are the main ones on the DM. Uh -huh. grown ass, I cannot talk to a grown behind man that is like this. They're too pretty. Oh, okay. Yes, they're oh, prettier than yes. women. Yes. They are definitely prettier than women. Yes. Right. What, 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 do, what do Snow White got to say about it? I ain't Snow White, first of all. Uh -huh. all. Oh, um, <laughs> light skins <laughs> just they're boring. Mm. Mm. Very boring. No adventure. Mm. I I like at least someone who's foreign. Like I I'm not gonna mess with someone who's just like a white boy. Like they're just very boring, mm. and they aren't aggressive enough. Oh my! Light skins being on We gotta TikTok get her on this drip day. cam. Okay. <laughs> she, she like to have it toned down. I don't know. It's like I like aggression. She like it's it like toned down. Like the light skin people, because I know, because I'm light skin, so oh, I like to let you know, like. Repeat Choke that. her while she's talking. Just that's take that I like hand. aggression. Like, I yeah. want uh -huh. all that good shit. So it's yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get her in light the Light skin. Zone. They try to. They too into the business of being pretty. Like, and I know because I'm light skin myself. So wow. it's like, I want to be pretty, but like. You don't want to be in competition with your man. Well, Not at all. <laughs> I want you to take control. Like, I yes. want to be submissive because I'm an alpha male. So the note here I'm is. I'm a female. Oh, I'm an alpha male? I'm a female. She I said, fucked I'm up. An alpha male. Listen, I've been the drinking. Listen, 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 listen. I've been drinking. So I'm alpha female, 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 female. I told y'all earlier she'd be tickling booties. The booty band. You said it. Hey. All right, so look, look. I'm I'm very dominant, so it's like Ooh. I want a man that's gonna make me feel submissive. So like, wait, wait, quick, yeah. we gonna, I'm gonna let this no light here. skin man gonna do it for me. Great. So look, so look, so what we got here is light skinned men are too feminine. Damn, y'all yes. all have an experience yes. with this. Yes, Damn. yes, they cry. yes, they're just cringy. They cry. They cry. Yes, yes, yes. They they yes. They wait, 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 one at a time, one at a time. Cry. Continue. Okay. Okay, light skins can just be very cringy. Like, I'm already an ambitious woman, so like, most light skins like they're just too soft for me. Do they remind I you of Drake? Who's harder. Do, do, Drake. do they remind you of Drake? Like light skin guys no, remind you of Drake? They're softer. Drake grew up very now. He, then he became okay. poppy, uh -huh. and light that's where men, they literally will be like, light skin men. They'll be like, look at this neck tat. Do you like it? <gasps> I like it. What the fuck? Light skins be like, oh my gosh, like you know what's crazy? I, I really don't so have much. no light skin homies like, like that. Like, you know like, I'm not I'm not going I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Um but it's I, like how do you even categorize like, yourself? Like do me? you feel like yeah, like are you like milk chocolate? That's dark a really skin, light skin. Definitely. How do you see yourself? He's just chocolate. I appreciate that question because I travel to the continent a lot, right? And when I get down to the content, I remember I was in uh, Johannesburg in South Africa and we was like, you know, just chopping it up about the differences between America and South Africa. And one thing they said, they said, like, we have different race categories. I was like, what you mean? They're like, yeah, you have a like African and then we have what we call colored and then we have what we call mixed. And then, of course, white. And they're like, you're you're considered mixed. I was like the fuck I, I was like yeah. i was like both of my parents are black they're like yeah but you're not real black so what are you mixed with well yeah what is fake black uh, <laughs> i mean i feel like black is categorized as like your skin tone like people be like 
oh, she's mixed. Okay. No, I'm no. not mixed. My players are yeah. black. Yeah. Like, I think it's like, like time and I'm not. I don't think I'm getting this like by kinkiness of hair. I think the melanin like uh, it gets really dark in africa well they're, yeah. they're talking about purity they're basically yeah. saying like you're not pure like yeah. i have freckles for example mm -hmm. like what kind of how many black guys you know with freckles right freckles. yeah so i think it's just <laughs> that purity so i say chocolate uh sorrow writes i you like short chocolate. yeah chocolate, chocolate right you feel like you're chocolate am i not what am he i is chocolate because oh, there's God. different shades of chocolate he's not chocolate he likes, he likes light chocolate light chocolate no but he looks like like he actually a little lighter than Hershey's bar, so he could be yeah, no he, he light chocolate. Yeah, light like, light he chocolate. gives that you present light that chocolate like chocolate. demeanor, he's like it's like mm, the atmosphere well, like, is like yeah. that's what it is. He's a caramel milk chocolate, like you know the M and M's, like with the milk yeah. chocolate with caramel on the inside. Look, oh. look, look at the symbolism. She she needed, she needed in her life. She needed in her life. So how do you perceive yourself? I like how she didn't want Barbara Walters on you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I perceive myself yeah. as a, I identify as a, <laughs> as a white woman, as a white cat. <laughs> yeah. Siamese? Sorrow. Yes. No skin. Sorrow writes, I no. like shorty in the hoops back there. Marquette almost never misses with the dark skins. Where like, dark skin. so, so when he said the hoops, he's talking about I you, right? Hoop, so I think he's saying, he, I think he's saying he like you. And I think he's saying that you like me. That's my interpretation. Ah! <laughs> carrying on, carrying on. Ulysses writes, Peace of the Saints. That's our partner. He writes, Tuition, Peace of the Saints. She tucked that chain because Big Debo in the corner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay writes, Now, watch how overly supportive these females get oh, when <laughs> the big get one up. gets up is because they know she's not a threat facts <sighs> A threat to what? Oh, a threat to this what? Is, this is what I'm saying. saying. Your money, you could have went to if Taco you're insecure, Bell. Well, all right, all if you're insecure, if you're insecure, just say that. Right, so you one, two, three. First so one, all, two, three. Okay, yeah. damn. Okay, one, two, three, four. You gonna finish it? Okay, off. I got you. You you good? Look, if you're insecure, just say that. But I give love to all women, yeah, all shapes fuck. and sizes, because I've been all shapes and sizes. So oh, you used to be big. Not big, big, but <laughs> let me tell you. She said not big, big. I don't know how to look. It's it was big for me, so like even even still, like gotcha. I'm not a fan of no discrimination. Like right. love is love, and purity is purity, and like in love, look, it is what it is. We're beautiful in all shapes and sizes. Okay, people. but at the end of the day, you're not gonna put no. Y'all spending y'all last five dollars to say something negative. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. You, you know, if you're, you're insecure, you're that's you when crap. you say anything yeah. negative about anybody. But if you're secure in yourself, you don't mm -hmm. give a fuck about who, what shape, size, race, or any of that. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable in your skin. You know you're going to get attention wherever. So it's mm -hmm. like, if you feel like somebody big in the room is going to distract you, you're insecure. They, they you're insecure. All right, go ahead, insecure. baby. First of all, this is YouTube Live. And yeah, this is YouTube Live. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So instead of doing whatever you should be doing, worrying about yourself, you're on here in the first place. Ah. That's first of all. Ah. Second so of all, about yourself. you paid, you paid to make an advocate of a comment. Like what? <laughs> that don't make sense. That don't I make can't sense. even say it. That's how crazy that shit sounds. Like, yeah, low key, he gonna have to pay more money if he want to keep going. Like, I just wasn't time. even enough. I'm gonna throw $5. You good? I'm ready. Hold on. I got Period. Okay. Come on, Cuzzo. Get him. Get him, Cuzzo. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, um, <clears throat> everything I had to say just went, Phew! but I'm going to remember. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she, she was hitting the blunt in the bathroom. Though. But because one, like, what the? if you look at her, she's not wearing no makeup. Her hair is natural and pulled back. So mm -hmm. how do you, I know y'all been on TikTok or Instagram where the girls be looking toe the hell. Can I say that? Yeah. To, just toe up to, to, to from it. the flow up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they be looking under. crazy and then they put their makeup on and they just be looking yeah. like the baddest female on this earth. Mm -hmm. So how are you to speak on somebody else when there's people out here really catfishing you second of all she's very confident third of very, all she's very. happy in her life so what are you because what? Okay. but um 
This, this is the thing. And yeah. I love you ladies. I appreciate it. But I definitely don't need anyone to defend me because mm. I don't know these fucking people. Like he said, the baddest bitch is the one that's paid in the room. And trust me, I got it. And then not even to make it about money because a lot of people go, oh, you're, you're ill. You replaced that with the baby. I'm healthy. Cholesterol, low point, no diabetes. I never had nothing ever. So mm. I, it doesn't bother me at all. It's the fact that you're literally taking the time to spend your money to say something negative and you can't. And it's five dollars. for but baby, it's not. It's four ninety nine at okay. that. How much, but baby, how much money? For it, so just how much money do they need to disrespect you? How much? How much? Oh, no, how much should not, the super not, chat be to disrespect <laughs> you? I was trying to find no, out. No, I'm just saying, not even like that. Not even to put it into that context. It's just like you're spending this amount. I think the highest is like fifty dollars. Yeah, you're spending was, that high amount of money to say something negative, get the fuck out of here. I'll pay attention if you put some commas in that. Ooh. It's sliding off the shoulders because, again, I know what I am, and trust me, when I get when I'm done up, I got it. Thank Very, you. Even without that, but yeah. 360. Next, next caller. <laughs> 360 writes, hey, Saint and Sinner, the girl in the black is the only one that looks professional slash classy, in my opinion. Those yeah, ratings so going like crazy, by the way. Well, okay. Three people okay. Alive, so. Sean writes a 304 without instructions is headed for destruction. Pim pim hooray. Pro touch oh, writes black dress girl is. is the. Th okay. Right, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All saying? right. Black dress girl is the things happen girl when you have that talk with the fam. Oh, you talk about like when you got her pregnant, like things. Just oh, happen. yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Oh, indeed. Turn off. Tommy Bali. Girl is black. Girl in black dress is definitely the type of chick that will make me cheat on my girl without remorse. She's fired. Oh, he's ruthless. We don't. I would not cheat on you. Karen I would not Karen cheat you. with you on your. Quit Jay, I don't have no Quit ass, lying. so I can't put it on the table. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Jay writes. They will never. Ask the big one to put it on the table. It's Jay, there's but if God she help us. To put on the table, fast. if she's put on the table, she's going to have more than all of us, period. <laughs> no, it's not. That's it's what y'all want. Juwan, 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 Juwan. Smokes Woo. 11 writes, she not a lesbian for MDB. She turned Peasbian for show. They just got on to the P wave. The Saints been on that for show. What does that mean? Can we do a he meant that. Quick? Yeah, absolutely. What are we toasting right, to? Yeah. A good night, a good month, and an even better year. What? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome her to the new year. Yes. 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 We do it because we're used to it. Uh, drink mother what's, drink. There it goes. Have a damn toast. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Smokes 11 writes These clapbacks, Shirley edition back gave the most exercise in her life. Oh my God. She burned 100 calories by it. now huffing up all that energy. Wow. The ones that get it, get it. The ones that don't, wow. no. Yes, All right, uh, you ready? Yeah. Thanks for the five dollars. Like, Shouldn't we be? Zest D writes, dollars? "What about the Asian persuasion?" Oh, okay, because you guys said you'll mess with the light skins. He said, "You know, uh, it's like fine ass Asian man. It is. We're gonna we gonna whip around depending, real quick. Depending. Asian, yeah. Asian. It depends what kind of Asian. Ooh. That's awesome. yeah. All right. Well, which one's getting in the game? Which Asian? I like if you're talking about Asians. I like Asians with tattoos." Oh, yeah. I think that because they motherfucking yakuza's. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Okay, okay. She like that thug yeah, Asian. I okay, yeah, I agree with her. Thug Asian. Okay, yeah. thug Asian. Okay, grab the mic. Sam, I like you. Got to be fit. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be mm, packing. <laughs> Carrying <laughs> on. Be something going down now. <laughs> Asian men seem like they might treat me too good. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Right. She That's keeping insane. it a buck out yeah. here. Like, okay. They seem like they light skin. <laughs> they gotta have game. <laughs> so. they Wait, repeat that again. They have to get have game. Like if a guy don't have game, it's like mm. not attractive to me. Like Fair I don't enough. want no cringy guy. You know? Fair enough. You feel? Okay. She says like, yeah, you you can get in a game if you Asian, uh, but if you light skin, it's all bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for like for you to be Asian. Well, because I was raised by an Asian woman, so I know a lot of Asian people. So that's uh, like I don't know. 
because right okay so, woman, so so i just smacked this that probably sounded terrible yeah wait but- what happened right now <laughs> i said i was raised by an asian yeah woman, what i'm saying so- is what the fuck are you talking about what do you mean what you- is your mama asian my stepmother is Asian. Word life. Yes. Yeah, what kind of Asian? She's from Thailand. <laughs> yes. And she's raised me since I was in kindergarten. Oh, so I was mama. raised Asian. So I know a, a lot of Asian people. And mm-hmm. so I feel like for an Asian guy, there's different, there's levels to it. it is. And me specifically, I like an Asian guy who is more so in tuned with his urban side, I'll say. And... You have to see, like, I don't want an Asian who's like penis is like. Oh, okay, carry yeah. on. Right. Okay. Carry on. Okay. okay. So, um, <laughs> number one, she took all that time to say. Uh, okay, that yeah. wasn't the, the main topic. That was not the main topic. Small, topic. She you took can't all have a that small ramen noodle. That's yeah. what she you basically know, said. Like, you know how, like, if you have. She said the chops still got to be okay. right. And we're going to stop talking Wait, about this. All right, next thing. What was the next thing? Yeah. She said, yeah, still yeah. talk about this. Uh, we this were talking about penises. We were talking about penises. I said she has very like Asian features in her, like her facial. No, for real, facial. yeah. No, it's but interesting. Said, like, if there's like there's actually a word for it. So like when you have a dog and it starts to look like you because you're mm. taking care of it, it starts to look like you. So I feel like with my stepmom because I was with her every day of my life since I was in kindergarten, mm-hmm. I feel like I started to look like her. I feel like the same thing, but I don't know what the word is. Mm. But it's a very long <laughs> scientific word. It's a, no, it's a Look, real word. It's a real word. And maybe somebody in the comments will know it. I think one thing that's word. crazy is I think we all did not expect that Shorty was raised by a, a Asian. Okay. So that, that, was, that was amazing. Um, uh, it's Rayo writes, paying tuition for all the light skins in the chat. Appreciate it. I ain't pretty. I'm handsome. Peace of the saints. Peace of the saints. Yeah. All right. Jay writes, I absolutely I love, love how the big one. He done spent his whole. <laughs> they, they done made Y'all got to let me read it. Is, <laughs> act, <laughs> I, is acting it's like okay. she can have the pick of men out here. Stop. Okay, wait. Y'all okay. take look, look, what wait, you wait, can wait. get. Look, and you Jay, will like it. Jay. Light skin or not. Jay, <laughs> stop while here. you're ahead because, baby, we know you done spent your whole paycheck in these last couple of um whatever they, what do you say? What they call? What is these blue things called? Super chat. Super chat. That's one. Two. I got them, baby. That's Ishmael all I'm going to say. Amin writes, loving the podcast. Y'all mad funny. Orange locks. I'm going to need to do the scalp test. I Y K Y K. Her scalp is you know, you know, you know. Oh, okay. Thanks. What's the scalp? What's the scalp? Okay. Scalp test. Also, like, you want me to take my ponytail down? I'm a chocolate man too. You want me to say if it's real? Like, it smells like it's a Y'all thought I was gonna be a, like so a dirty one person at a time. Girl. Since he's talking about you, you can talk. And it, can somebody tell me what the fuck YKTV means? <laughs> You know the vibe. You know the vibe. You know the vibe. It's like if you know, you know, you know the vibe. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, go ahead. No, that's why I was like, did y'all think like my locks was gonna smell weird or something? Like they thought they oh, fake. Oh, got you. Got These you. are okay. real. You can smell them. Thank, you can, thank you. I appreciate like, you it, Jawan. You can smell. You can play in them. I'll These take you. Real. Oh, okay. So Pharaoh from the East writes. I'll take. No, you. please don't do that. I like how they are. Take right them now. out. Don't, don't like, do okay, I was like, what's this? Like, like, I don't know. I'll take them out. Like, Pharaoh no. from the East okay. writes. I'll take you home, big girl. Call me at nine. Can we pause real quick? One ninety nine still wasn't enough. Try again. Can we pause real quick? Because this is all I want to say. Go ahead. You said you had a man for how long? Seven, seven years. years. Okay, see, I don't know about y'all. I don't got a man. I've never had one. So, like, wait, you've never had a man? Jabrizi, remember that for the dialogue portion. Oh, the other ones never had a man. And here so begins the cap. She's doing something we're not. <laughs> here goes yeah, the cap. She's doing something we're not. God damn. I, mean, I can cook. High draft rights. If you're going to perpetuate the stereotype that light skin equals feminine, oh, he getting in. You can't be mad that people look at dark skin women as masculine aggressive. That was deep. But I will say you are a very feminine woman. Like now you're you're very, very feminine. Absolutely. Very, mm-hmm. very. Yeah. Okay. You know, you're so feminine. You need yeah. to sit diagonally on the oh, yeah. on the screen, girl. Thank you. I, I didn't told you that she's trying to get better. next to a boss. You hear me? <laughs> I thought I was. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. It was when we was taking the shot. I never moved back. Yeah, yeah I'm trying. I'm trying to make sure it's well directed. Y'all don't mess <laughs> okay. this up. Okay. So, but what I have to say is that nobody ever gets mad when you call a dark skinned woman aggressive because it's not that we're being aggressive. It's that we're being passionate about how we feel about certain things. Like aggressive, like. 
not you Ooh. not oh. you doing that even, and even, <laughs> if you, even if you take dark skin but women out like, of it black women period they feel that way. i don't aggressive. mind if somebody it's calls me aggressive i might be i probably am a little bit aggressive i don't give a <laughs> I don't Rats, get aggressive but from you. She's not I've, never, I've never gotten that, not once. <laughs> but I'm she not an aggressive like, person like, at like all, actually. A very honestly. cheerful, goofy girl. I'm really like, not aggressive, but I feel like I'm speaking for other dark skinned women yeah. when they say. Oh, the light skinned ones not, is lit too. But I feel like light skinned women, it's, it's or even general. women that are lighter than light skinned women, they are more aggressive. And they can honestly be way more aggressive than a woman who is dark skinned. Like I feel yeah, like the, the color tone, doesn't matter. The color doesn't yeah. matter. It's honestly how you like you could see honestly and this probably sounds terrible, but there's a lot of white women who talk as though they are the darkest woman on this yeah, earth. Yeah, you know or what? The just, darkest just, man on just, this earth. Give me a second. Just my opinion. I think that all y'all aggressive women in general. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even <laughs> that's why I said not dark skinned, but they feel like minority women are aggressive. You want me to open it? Uh, okay, Chris writes, we are hybrid blacks, a mix of ethnicities from the various African countries. By the way, sponsor a light skin bro before we have to date out. Okay, oh. carry on. We'll take Chris out on the date. Sean is back. He writes, oh, "Fat Lord. shaming and he's is still putting good." He's I got hope you take that. this. Let's let's do one thing though, because I don't want anybody to confuse anybody for being aggressive. So we'll we'll make sure that no one's talking over anybody. And so when I finish, then you can hop in there. So after I finish, I'm going to let you hop in there, Jade, briefly. Uh, Sean writes, fat shaming is good. I hope you take this as motivation and go get healthy. We're not insecure. She's just huge like Trump's wall. Sean, wow. uh, boy, I just told you, you're going to run low. You ain't going to have no gas to get home. You better stop. <laughs> and it's the and it, I don't need no motivation. I don't. I'm happy with me. You need to go see a therapist. I know one, and I got you. Don't even trip. It's giving but you, press. but you ain't gonna be able to afford it. She charged forty dollars a session, and you don't spend about maybe forty dollars in this super chat. The same writes. It's so refreshing watching women feel free to speak freely and express themselves. Prefer this over other BS <laughs> out there. Bless you, Marco. I appreciate it. Yes, and shout out to Jabrizi. Shout out to all the ladies. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jade. Popping that off. Farrell from the East writes, it's all jokes, lady. This show, this show is not Oprah. We need entertainment and game. Fair enough. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> Rob writes, ladies, I'm going to need y'all to elaborate on why y'all have a different set of rules for different types of men. The nice average dude got to take you on five to six dates and wow you. But the attractive player can beat it down within two dates. <laughs> well, you, just, you ain't never lied. He answered the question himself. <laughs> I have a question. So, so, so why don't we, we just going to start from the okay, left and ahead. we just going to swing it that way. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I wasn't ready for this. Okay. okay well then so, go to, the, to her. You yeah. get ready to okay. come back. So it's because you have to have game. If you don't have game, <laughs> then you out. <laughs> like. If you're cringy and too soft, like, it's just not going to work out. Um, I'm an ambitious woman. So, like, if you – if I'm the motivator in the relationship, it's just not going to work out. Like, I can't be doing more than you. You have to be, like, outrunning me, and then I got to catch up. Like, I like being competitive <coughs> in my relationship. <laughs> like, like, uh, we got to we gotta throw like this one out here. Motivator. No, we got we to gotta throw this one out here. I think this is a good question for all the ladies to uh, answer. Who's the guy that can beat it down on the first day? Mm. Who's the guy that has oh. to do the multiple dates? Wait, okay. Who's the guy that can beat it down on the first day? Who's the guy that has to do the multiple dates? Mm. What archetype gets to do it on the first day? What archetype has to do multiple dates? Okay. So I feel like everybody is, at this point, everybody is grown. So if you meet mm -hmm. a guy and you really like him, the chances are very high that you're going to beat it down on the first day. Agreed. Like you said. So if it takes multiple days, she's not that into you because mm -hmm. girls, honestly, girls are honestly just as horny as guys are. Mm -hmm. So if it takes more than one, like maybe the first one she wasn't feeling, but by the second one, if you have not got in, like, let it go. Because mm. it's like, oh, no. just no. Because I, 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 unless she's just Wait, being difficult. We gonna swing it out. She said what she but, said. She said what she said. Okay, so yours. Let me. Let's just like run that through. You said it's because you don't like the guy. 
I'm right. asking for archetypes. So right. I'm saying, what type of guy? And keep it brief to too. That? She said keep the guy brief. you like. She said the guy you like. So she yeah, likes, okay. the guy you like. Right. Um, <laughs> she's like liking this. Is this okay. your piece right here, Jabrizi? Huh? Is this piece? your piece right here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. My no, piece. no. I'm saying, is this your female right here? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead. yeah. That's mine. I just, I just gotta make sure before I ask someone. I'll take the vanilla. All right, go ahead. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Um, the guy that catches it at the right time. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, what, what's the right time? That's what I'm saying. What, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, for me, like, I ain't gonna hit on the first date, but like, if girl, you get your right ass up time, out of here with that. <laughs> girl, if you don't, don't knock know. it off. Wait, you I telling me under no circumstance can I wear that ass out on the first date? No, not at this point. But it's been done oh, in the past. Oh, not at this point. Right. <laughs> That's what they always run. They always run that. They always try that. There's been a time. There's been a time. But like yeah. the time is not now. Yeah. Time, hashtag uh -huh. time is up. Hashtag time uh -huh. has been up. But Damn. anyways. Um, I'm going to let no. you slide because you Jabrizi girl. I'm going to let you slide. Who said that? She Says just you. said that. You wasn't paying attention? Uh, I'm pretty Damn. sure it takes two to tango. But anyway. Oh, she's trying to tango so, my way, player. She told y'all she was You better slow her down. Chocolate. She's trying to join this chocolate. stable over here. Oh, God damn. Yeah. No, but anyways, the guy that catches it at the right time, but also, I feel like you got a vibe. Like, if you connect on a different level, like, I mean, it's happening. But, like, yeah. if you don't, then, like, it's not happening. Yeah. Like, so, we have so to have a real conversation. Attraction. Like, if you can have a conversation with me and it's really deep, then, like, I mean, you can whatever get this, happens, happens. You can get this wet. <laughs> yep. I heard you. All right. All right, I feel like I'm at a point in my life, you know, college, we did some things, but I feel like I'm at a point where it's like, like she said, if we're vibing on that level, I'm not going to play games with you. If I want it, I want it. If I don't, I don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it sometimes does those like multiple five, six, seven days is to see, okay, because sex is- Wait, did you say five, six, seven, seven dates? dates? Niggas ain't got <laughs> money like that. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Just to figure out about yeah. the no, no, man, this is no, prostitution. No, no, it's listen, this listen, 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 listen to me. So, listen, you got to think about it this way. I'm giving you, I see the quality of man you are, so I'm giving you this time to kind of show me. I may not, because women, we either feel it sexually off the bat or we don't. Right. And so, for me, it's like, it's like okay, if you can also, you know, get my mind simulated, right. then we could get there. But and sometimes it takes people a little slower. Some people, it's just off the bat. I don't have to talk to you. I look, I see how you look, and it's like, Mm -hmm. So five, six, seven mm -hmm. days, your brain will be simulated. <laughs> I mean, no, it's yeah. happened to where it's like sometimes I just need to feel this person's energy because at the same time, it is an exchange of energy. So you can't you need just to be feel that energy five, six, seven dates. Yes, I mean, I'll be feeling. I'll be in the hood. I'll be feeling uh, energy all the time. I'm like, I got yeah. it. I know exactly what I it's, need to do. It's not that some people are. You need to see people, people in are seasons. hella closed off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in some seasons. People, some people yes. are hella closed off, or even I might be closed off, but I know this is a good person, and I feel like I owe it to myself to see this through. For and fellas, me. let this be a lesson that they are always dating when you're trying to holler at them. So you better get your numbers up. Yeah, buddy. That's, 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 up with them that's right not away. true. Look, let me let me drop a little bit of playerism in here. Five, six, seven dates. I don't know. That's a lot. That was <laughs> no, the upper end. No, I put it. I put it on the upper end for a reason. Look, no, I'm saying because she said like five dates. You said I mean, five, five dates. I mean five, six. You could knock that out. I'm, I mean, you and, can knock that out in a week or two. No, but what I'm saying though, she kept the trail though. She said, <laughs> yeah, she said something yeah. so true. She said. Yo, if ain't nothing happened on like date two, bro, call that shit a rap. Yeah. No, yeah. That, that's, 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 she got that so true. No, but that's her truth. That's her truth. That's not mine. That's the my, truth. No, 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 no. Now no, let, let me help y'all out. Let me truth. can I keep it player with you real quick? Okay. Can I keep it funky with you real quick? I'm gonna tell you if you are or not. Word to Big Bird. Check this out. Number one, let me just summarize all them words you said. Cause a pimp would tell you. You don't go with the girl that you like. You go with the girl that likes you. Yeah. What does that mean? You failed the quiz. Let me help you out. <laughs> Number one, when the girl likes you, she's, she's going to let you get that in day one, day two, because no, the vibe is there. No, because even dates, hold on, I hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to pause you for a second. We're going to come right back to you. 
But the girl that you like, she gonna make you work for it because she's still trying to figure out. She's like, okay, he he looks all right. He got a good no, job, not. and so she gonna give you time to to become familiar so she can build an attachment. But you always want the girl who like you off the rip because it's easy for you. Yeah. It's like yeah. easy. You guys are hunters. No, 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 no. no, no. Listen no. to me. Because me... you guys are hunters, can I, right? Can I Men are hunters. Her? You guys are predatory animals, right? Oh, absolutely. So if you guys see the little lamb with the broken leg, y'all are going for it. So okay, so because that's what? easy. It depends on what she looks like. First of all, some I'm animals not, cannot be no, domesticated. No, 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 no. By the I, way, a zebra will run away. That's why you get a horse. Because a horse, you can actually it it won't it, it'll actually stay. Okay, you can't stay. get a zebra to run away. So some girls like zebras. Don't See, get a zebra. Now y'all are going to this gray area that you say women like to play, right? So it's either okay. okay if a lion is out hunting and he can either go for the big ass water buffalo or he can go for the hurt lamb he's gonna go for the hurt lamb because it's easier it's it's just that easy and so okay it's great mm -hmm. if we say that we like you okay that's good it's mm -hmm. good if we can get that dialogue and that's where people should be when they're dating I'm gonna... they should be able to be willing to say hey i like your vibe i'm messing with you and it should be that simple but sometimes like even for me when i say five to six there's been times where okay initially sound like a jail sentence out, no initially <laughs> you're no, serving five I'll to six within two weeks because if i like you i'm gonna want to be around you I, and so within that two weeks okay two weeks is not a long time to where okay after that and i'm fucking with the vibe come on with it okay Just, you so know, let me let me simple. let me bring some perspective yeah. to you because you talked about animals and i think the lion example was horrible <laughs> so number one what? Uh, a cheetah. Are you familiar that cheetahs are going extinct? Yes. And do you see how hard I, they I didn't know that for the record? I just wanted to like let you. <laughs> I didn't know that, but go ahead. Like yeah. a lot of animals actually. Do you know why they are? No, not exactly. Because they run for their food and they get exhausted, and they get so exhausted they die. Yeah. Only if they got something that was readily available and easy to get would they stay alive. Cheetah, cheetahs so are into this animals. Huh, what'd you say? Cheetahs are solitary animals, though. No, no, no. I, I think you need to get the metaphor. This is not the point. <laughs> so, number one, what I'm trying to tell oh, you here, God. what take, I'm trying to take tell you. Take her to Sesame Street. I know. God, take her to Sesame Street. Get your Street. ass on the magic school bus. Yeah. Here we go. So, look. Yeah. You have to observe this cheetah. It's about, it go, it's going extinct because it's running and it's getting exhausted. It's going for food that it wants versus getting the food it can get. So, what I'm saying is this. When he said, hey, you go for the woman that likes you, not the woman that you want. Exhausting. Because you're exhausting yourself. Exactly. Your ultimate, like if a man had to, so, okay, so if a man had to always take that approach, exactly. his DNA strand would probably not carry on because he would be exhausting himself. But it's not that I'm not showing. And interest. understand you it's in life. Understand in life, you take the path of least resistance. Mm. Like water does not flow upstream; mm. it goes down. Mm. Bruce Leroy okay, over here. Okay, well look, look. How about this? Y'all spend spend two weeks with me and see if I can't entertain you with my mind and not just sex. But why can't? Well, well, hold on one second though. Why you can't give me everything? Because I, I need can. it all. I can, but at the same everything. time, it's like you, you want work. everything from me for what? Oh, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm glad you asked me that. Because when you deal with me, I'm gonna be the best you ever had. You heard me, so check this out. Why would you ever For put me anywhere two. other than first place? So whoever you dealt with in the past, if you gave it to them faster than me, that wouldn't make any sense because I'm superior to them. So I would never take a back seat oh, to another no. man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not supposed yes. to. And, and you okay. said back seat to another man. I just want to know, like, are men not predatory like species? Like, are you not? Are That's you right. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna put all my eggs. In all your baskets that you can offer me, giving you my all. My energy, my energy. And I think men? that y'all have your all, and I think I have it. And I'm not asking. And are you gonna see somebody the fuck else? Are you gonna look at somebody younger than me, beautiful than me, How somebody else, and they're gonna be like, let's not get that's a good, let's that's not a get good confused. Question. Like let's not question. get confused. Like that's men do not question. when they yeah, see something I, they attack. Let's not. Let's not pretend like men don't see something That's a really and go good for question. it. Let's not pretend like men are not distracted by something else that they mm. see that they're not accustomed to. So That's it's like, I can put my, all my eggs in I one like basket just for you to turn around and fuck me. And then I got to turn around and be passionate. like, what? And then y'all will go to the next. Why are you pointing at me like that, that time, though? Y'all yeah, will put you. all that time and effort into one person. And then the second it's like, okay, yeah, she likes me. I got it handled. Exactly. I, I like how they asking exactly. this. I want to I want to validate that you have some really meaningful concerns here. So I dig what you're saying. Now, the problem is when you're dealing with a person who ain't solid. So you've obviously experienced a lot of guys who you didn't properly vet. And the sad reality is there's more phony men than there are real men. 
So here's the thing though. You deal with 10 phony ones and then you come to the real one and you don't act right because you got screwed over too many times. Then you're going to lose the real one. So all I'm trying to do is get you on the good foot so you can hop to it. Because the thing is, even though you got screwed over by those phony ones, being that I'm a real one, I got high standards. So I would never lower my standards to accept the kind of behavior that you would display. People like y'all are rare, right? You ain't never lied. No, men like you are rare, right? right? So you, I feel like you the type to maybe say your intentions like, look, is mm-hmm. is we you know what and like oh okay I'd like to take you on a date if that's what you want to do however you go I, about I it I call feel it like that no but I'm, say, I'm saying like I feel mm-hmm. like you give off that vibe like if you want it you'll say it and yeah. so it's like sometimes okay if I think we're gonna have to you know go through this process with mm-hmm. you sometimes that little like put your chest out and be like yeah is mm-hmm. all we're looking for that little yes. be a man and but put your here's the down. thing though. You say you want the truth, but you can't handle the truth. I don't know. I don't speak for every female, but I want the truth. Now because check this one out. thing about me, I'm not trying to waste no time, no energy, no affection, no none of that. That on no man. Let me see how real we are. Real quick. Everything that I let me see give. how real we are. Real quick. This is the moment where we <laughs> let, told to you. Let me see how real we are right now. Let's hear it. So there's certain qualities I know that pretty much all women want. Right. Mm-hmm. Financial stability, guy, be a minimum of this height, be honest, all that stuff. Right. Blah, blah, height. blah. I'm, it's never a height for me. Height's not a thing. Okay. Saints, that's a beautiful thing. They said height, height is irrelevant. <laughs> 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 yeah. The only one that's not six foot in the room. <laughs> they said height is irrelevant. That's a beautiful thing. And I commend you for that. So there's some basics. And you said a man like me is a rare man. Right. So if oh, that's. Well, you are that. Baby, you, you smell what's cooking. Come on now. We ain't got to pretend with it. We ain't got to pretend. That being the case, if I'm rare, and one thing I think we can all agree on is there's more, there are more good women than there are good men. Can we agree on that? I we can. Yeah, right? I'm, uh, I'll tell you why. Let me break down this logic for you. What is a good man? I'm going to break down this logic. There's more good women than there are good men because... If you find a woman who's already a good woman, you won. If you find a woman who's not a good woman, maybe she had a little bit of trauma, she's but broken. What is good? She's going to act right when she gets a good leader. But what is your good? That's a though? great question. Good is a woman who can follow leadership. Good is a woman who's trusting. Good is a woman who knows how to bring calmness and peace. She knows how to care for a home and be a person who brings love to a situation. Okay. Can you vibe with it? I can, but that's like to a the, point, but yeah. Okay, well, what's, what's your definition of a good woman? You said a woman who listens. I said, What's no, your I'm definition? Saying. See, you My wasn't listening. She said, I said a woman who listened, but she wasn't listening to no, me. No, I, I thought you said, like, elaborate on what you was talking on. No, like, no, no. I'm my saying, definition what's your of definition? Good woman, yeah. A woman who's compassionate, a woman who's understanding, a woman mm-hmm. who can adaptability. Mm-hmm. Like, can you adapt to any situation? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, do you have a backbone? Are you going to just take any fucking thing? Because. But think about how you're in conflict right Don't get me wrong. Right like, now. I understand. I understand. But I feel like every woman should know when to speak the fuck up. About because what? nobody wants no yes man. Nobody wants right. no woman that that's, you can just I mean, run over. No, no man wants a man. No, right, right. No time right. This is the second like, time. I feel like relationships are like a garden, right? So when it comes to that, what you want out of a person, you have to put in. So it's like, okay, you have a garden. It's flourishing. It's growing. You got to put water. You got to trim the weeds. You got to do all that. And then if, if it still fails, then you know you got to change the soil. You just got to change the soil. Is Maybe the woman the-, the soil? You just throw the soil no, out? No, no, the, the, woman, no, no. <laughs> the, woman's, the woman's the flower, right? Mm-hmm. But without the right soil, it can't grow anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, without the, without so, the right gardener, you I can't, feel like it can't a grow. A lot of men she don't put in what they want out of a woman these days. What do you mean by put in? In terms of like, okay, you want a soft woman, then you have to let her feel comfortable being on inside. I feel like a lot of men, they don't. That's a, that's they a major don't. error that a lot of women have. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you're a soft woman... We got a three cents Bible here that I didn't tell you about. We also got a three cents Quran, a three cents Torah. I'm going to break this down. This is the key to prosperity and morality. Number one, be yourself. Mm -hmm. Number two, be good to yourself. I think you like that one. And then number three, be good to good people. Now, if you can do those three things, life is always going to be happy and healthy. But check this out. You said the woman's going to be soft if the man can do blah, 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 blah. 
Nah, it ain't like that, sis, because you have to be yourself. If you're soft, you're going to be soft. Like if she's quiet, she's not going to be talkative because the environment changes. She's going to be who she is and whatever the environment is. And that's the big issue is that sometimes we step into the wrong type of relationship and we don't feel like being ourselves because we're with the wrong person. Yeah, but exactly. It depends on that person. I agree. That's the first time. God damn. That's the first time. We've <laughs> made a breakthrough. I Tabernacle. I do. Yeah, talk to so me. I feel like with relationships, until you fully like healed yourself and like know who you are individually, you can't come together and be with somebody else. That's why I tell people you have to learn people in their seasons because you may like somebody when they're happy. Mm. But when they get sad or depressed or angry, you mm-hmm. may not like that person. Well, here- but if, if I feel like if you Learn to love that person entirely in every single sad, happy, broke, sad, every, every single season. If until you can learn that person and love that person for who they are, that's only love. Other than that, you're trying to fit somebody to your perspective. And that comes in I think that's true. But also at though, the same time, because- all these things are just passing moments. Happiness is passing moment. Sadness <laughs> is a passing moment. What you really want is peace. And you have to come to mm, peace, peace to the saints. with who you <laughs> are. But Before like, you can come together with someone else, because you're gonna have sad, mad, yourself. bad days. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's you're gonna have, you're gonna have, yeah, exactly. You have to come to peace with yourself before you come together with somebody else because you're going to have sad days and you have to be able to carry yourself through it, whether that mm. person's there or not. Mm. Because at the end of the day, they're not there for you to help you get you through your bad days. They're just there because you decided to come together with them and join them as a team. So are you saying yeah, I mean, that like these it, broken women who think a man is about to fix them, yeah, that's... No, hmm, that's talk not to it. Yeah. That's talk not to me. Never. I don't... It's not not talk you to me. You know, to you, though. Ever. You're, uh, you can we go to the next one? Or fix you. Ever. There's nobody that can fix you besides yourself. Shorty deep, Jabri. You got you a deep one over here, boy. Yeah. Uh, Jay writes, big girl, honestly, cool. Some of y'all weak as hell for all that trolling. Yeah. Quet and Breezy gonna have to raise the super chat minimum to filter out these trolls. They gotta pay fair, what they weigh. If they wanna fair say enough. something, they gotta pay what they weigh. All right, weigh. should we do like $20 now? I feel okay. like you should. All right. All right. Change the minimum. All right, all right. Twenty dollars and up. Twenty dollars and up. Moving on. I agree, and I am. Helpful. Okay. Thank you. Since they were already sent in, yeah, twenty dollars and up. Moving forward. Oh, wait, yeah, hit okay, it but, real quick. Yes, and I have we, that. And I do have a name. My name is not Big Girl. My name is Jamie. Thank you. Okay, and then no shade. Bad. No shade wait. to um. Who was that? Jamie. Jay. Jamie <laughs> is the name. That's right. Jamie <laughs> is the name. Donnell writes by the reaction in the room when light skins were brought up. One could deduce that they all got their heart broken by at least one light skin yeah. dude. Before. Yeah. Ooh, yes. They said they I'll admit it. If you got your heart broken. Light skin. Mm-hmm. My first love was light skin. Got my heart rope. Oh wow! Rope Worst mistakes of my life. Yeah. No. I think okay. so. Yeah, yeah, you're good with it. That's cold. Uh, with the. Um... <laughs> oh, oh, you don't no. Not on camera. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Good point. Not on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah hit the, the bathroom yeah. if you need to. Just like, just do the, it behind her back. The OS RS writes, they don't like light skins. F and F just got canceled for the same thing. The double standards. Ha <laughs> ha. PCE. Pharaoh writes, black dress never had a BF. Lies, red flags. How sway? I feel you. Hey, bro. I knew she. I hey, that's, that was a Super red flag cat. right there. Yeah. She just said. High draft rights. Oh, like she's smiling too. Now the skin color doesn't matter. They just stereotype light skins for being feminine because of their complexion. The hypocrisy is insane. I think they're talking about when they're saying the skin color of the woman doesn't matter. Woo, that's a good catch. Zest D writes, girl in the white top is a nine for elegance. We're about to get you up on that drip cam, baby. I agree. I that is Asian. Green. Green. <laughs> I guess the, the bright lights got him. Um, I agree that. Asians need game. Oh, I am Filipino and it helped me date black Latinas and various Asians. He getting it in. Shout out to the yeah area saints. Kyle the creator writes, they going in tonight for real. Marquette, let the slim chocolate girl know I'ma be in Saint City next week. Yes. Yes, sir. Pharaoh from the East writes, gray hair is t- oh God. <laughs> gray hair is telling the truth. If you ain't smashing on the first meetup. 
I'll give it to the second personally. Then keep it moving. If you didn't clap the first time due to circumstance, uh, think about it. Black dresses playing games. You ain't never lied. Leon writes, peace to the saints on behalf of the chocolate brothers. On the chocolate brothers. I thank you for the support, ladies, indeed. Wow, wow. (laughs) We caught up? It's a beautiful thing. $20 and up, $20 and up. Drip cam, drip cam. We're going to go ha, and then we're going yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you kicking it off? I'll kick it off. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Suck it, suck it now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. These, so I'm, uh, from the floor up. All right. So uh, these little blue socks you got on. Uh, this little, Already. Little, little ankle. Uh, Bracelet. I don't like it. I was gonna say I don't like it. I noticed it. I'm looking. Uh okay, so you have like the mom pants on. The mom pant. I like mom pant. I think last time there was a, a Taylor, the girl Taylor that was here. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She had like some really baggy pants, I believe, mm-hmm. right? She's super thick. She's, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And mm-hmm. that was that was nice. So yeah, I like this because I think I think this is like a sexy look for women. I don't think okay. a lot of women try to baggy pant look, but okay. you know they can have something working underneath there. Uh, this top though, okay. So turn this, this top in. though style style. Um, these pants don't look iron, and that's why you have to lose some points oh. because you oh. did not iron these pants. But I know you didn't. You know you didn't iron these <laughs> pants. You left. You put them on and you left knowing they was too baggy. They don't fit to the skin, so you got to oh. iron them obviously. Oh. So this top right here. Wait, just, with these did, pants. Did you iron them? I just wanted to hear you. Can you face the, Go face the camera? Face the camera. I need them to see this. Y'all, I want y'all to pay attention right now. Look at this. Okay, so this top with these pants. If y'all can see how baggy these pants is with this tight top, this is not what you do. If you're going to go baggy on the bottom, you go baggy on the top. That's, That's what you do. So uh, I don't know I don't know about that. And now the style game with them nails, though. Let me see them nails. Let me see them nails. They met. I don't like them long, like that long sometimes too. Like just personally, it's not like a big deal. So yeah, I ain't gonna duck you no points not like that. Uh, can 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 you uh pull your hair back? <laughs> okay, no earrings. Okay, so yeah, this style is gonna get uh you get a three. Damn. Damn. Yes. A three. Woo! This, why y'all say a three? <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, Soldier boy in here. A three. Yes. Okay. Look. So we're going to style first, just style, right? Just style. Okay, look. All right, I'm going to try to stick to style. Okay, so we starting off. Uh, she has on dark blue. What shoes were you wearing? Feelers. Word life. When you're wearing the feelers, can I see these socks? Okay, I can respect that. Okay, so I'm not going to dock you for the socks. Then you got this little um, pink ankle bracelet joint. So I'm going to say that gives you a hippie vibe. I'm like, okay, cool. She probably she probably don't shave downstairs. I could get with that. That's that adult <laughs> vagina. You heard me? Yeah, grown woman. Okay. Then we got these pants on. And this is this is linen. This might be linen or linen blend. And I can dig it. You know, white linen is a beautiful thing. She matched it up with a white and green shirt. I can respect that. Because sometimes white people don't like to match. They don't. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. They're so- the Mexicans. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're Italian? Like hundred percent. You want to be my gumar? Okay, we can get back to that later. Anyways, carrying on. Um, so I gotta dock you because you're wearing big underwear. I can sense it. I can sense it. What is it? Take it off. I know. Let me know something. What you what you wearing? The thong or a G string? Uh, maybe you know that. Okay, praise the Lord. Uh, she ain't okay. got no panties on. Okay, hallelujah. Okay, cool. I'm with it. Uh, now this shirt, green's actually my favorite color, but not this like this kind of faded kind of green. This is kind of like a tie dye pattern, and I'm tripped out because I feel like tie dye doesn't really go with this garment itself. However, I like the tie dye because we're back hippie, and it goes with the ankle bracelet. Mm. So she kind of caught me. Don't ever say that out loud again, okay? 
Uh, no one shop at Billabong or Quicksilver. You just earned your white points there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she earned the hell out them white points. But you got I'm white Italian. Points for I'm wearing Billabong. No, yeah, she didn't earn them points. Now, here's the one thing that's going. <laughs> No, it's She's not Okay, okay. All right. All right. So getting back to this top, now face me real quick. I can't breathe. So you, you have a, a nice small waist. I like that. I don't know any who does not like there's no one who doesn't like that, right? Everybody likes that. Then you got the boobies out. She does. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna need a glass of milk for real. I'm gonna need a glass of milk and a chocolate chip cookie. Um the I don't know if these are real. I'm leaning toward they're not real. <laughs> this is some fresh water. This is fresh water. It's a beautiful thing. We're going to talk later. Um, I like that. I'm 19. She didn't just turn on some people's fantasies just now. I'm 19. That's how their favorite videos start on Red Tube. Okay. <laughs> Look, okay. All right. so, she be getting out too much. You heard me? She liked that one too much. Um, so she, you have the piercing for the belly button, but you didn't put it in. That's all good. You chilling today. The shirt is a beautiful shirt. It's elegant. I don't like the print, but the shirt itself is nice. And somehow you've managed to look elegant and classy showing that much titty, which is hard to do. That's an accomplishment, ain't it? Okay, cool. Now from the hair perspective, I'm, I've am i been disappointed in white girls' hair for the last couple of years. I'm not talking about you, but just white girls' hair been disappointing me because they starting to wear tracks and they don't know how to wear tracks. I feel like black women need to do a, a professional development. Oh, no, we don't. They take was that? Like yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Those are extensions. No. Okay, good. Um, so the hair is actually very good. Like you know, you did a okay. Then you got the. Usually, I don't like to see the black uh, eyeliner. Is that what that is called? Eyeliner? Because mm-hmm. when mascara. you're mascara. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I like how he said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I'm over here like okay. Um, so I usually don't like to see that on white women because it's too dark for you. Yeah. you it's too dark, unless you're really pale. You're not pale enough to do that. You're getting docked for that. The eyes, the eyes are nice. I can dig it. I don't know exactly what color they are, but they, they can go. I didn't ask you that. I was just letting you know that I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh. oh so, so I see she's trying to throw that in there so she can match with the shirt. She's trying to get extra points. It's all good. Um, so on the style side, I'm going to say if you didn't tell me those were billabong, I would feel much better about this whole ensemble, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to give her a seven. I'm on style. I'm going to give her a seven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give her a seven that's on gracious. style. That's gracious. God damn. Now I'm surprised at Joe Ray. Yeah, I got to see them. Fi- right. What's that? I said you said ensemble. Mm-hmm. You have to add a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, gave yeah. into it. So ensemble yeah. equals a point. So go ahead and add her another one. At eight? Yeah. Damn. Nah, that's we can't do that. He said ensemble. An ensemble. No, yeah. we can't do he, that. He spent the whole yeah. time like tearing down. What's up with y'all girls coming here putting y'all booty on the table like this? <laughs> because you gotta see the. She putting this little white girl booty on the table. You gotta see the cuff. You gotta see the cuff. It takes up the but uh, I feel like. Oh, what y'all yeah. can see this? Okay, sexy. Like every time they turn around and look at y'all, they got like, oh yeah, let me just go ahead and show them what I got real here. Put it on, put it on the <laughs> you table. You got to. You got to. <laughs> but you spent the whole time tearing her down, and then gave her a high rating. So you gotta like you said give her I tore, a compliment. You said I tore her down too much. A little bit. She kind of liked that though. She probably. She, she kind of liked that. Cause yeah. she freaky. Yeah, yeah. But either yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. But either way, it's like you were like, I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah. This is okay. This is yeah. cool. This is cool. I don't like this. But I'm gonna give you a seven. Right. Cause mm. cause we so vibing. Give her a compliment. We vibing. Even though she's a breezy girl, we still vibing though. She. I don't even need she, to. She, she, she's telling y'all to stop. I barely even ha- got to say anything to her. So what she's trying to say is Jabrizi yeah. not gangster. It's it's because huh? what she's huh? wearing works just for chill her. Gangster. Don't worry about me. It, yeah. it, it, it's because it's because what she's wearing works for her. If you tried to picture that on anybody else here, it wouldn't even work half as well as she's working. Hell right? no. She's working. No. She, it, she is yeah. working that the way she's supposed to. I That's like why it. she gets yeah. those points. I feel like white women pull off that tasteful thing a lot like if if kendall jenner shows a nipple and a mess it depends on what kind of white girls if they're, one of they're, us they're, came in here like that she's oh, definitely the yeah. white girl that can hang exactly I'm an, elegant. I'm gonna also need you to not be an insurance agent but we could talk about that later okay <laughs> we can talk about that later uh-huh 
She's 19, huh? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah but but we ain't let nobody live out here. <laughs> um, go, go ahead, Jabri. All right. Sexiness. Sexiness. Uh-huh. Here we go. <sighs> I like these, I like these pants. I think I girls who wear these pants may be really having surprises underneath there. For sure. You love them. Wait, did she pull them up? I do. Just, I really do. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'll be sitting there like, I know you hiding something. Like, when I see a girl, I'm like, I know you hiding something. Like, I know you hiding something. There's something there you don't want me to see. You don't want nobody else to see. I like that. It is. It's sitting on the table. When I, know, I know, right? And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm like, wait, can I? I got to make an edit. I'm so sorry. What's up? I've never done this before. I, and I apologize, but I got to edit my rating. I have to. Mm -hmm. I just noticed these nails. And I oh, hold those nails up to the camera, I please. About, I, I did happen. not notice them nails. It's about to happen. Hold, the, just hold them bitches up real quick so they can yes. see them bitches. Now you bring know? them to me. Bring them to me real quick. Oh my god. Yeah. He like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out if she could wipe her ass with him. I, but she yeah, just yeah, she, she on that level. She on that level yeah, where she she, she can't. Yeah. yeah. You you. And she's she's docked for two reasons. She's docked for the length of them. They just went a little too long. And she's docked because they not matching the fit. I feel like if you go get, get the nails, whatever you rocked with on the nails, you got to rock with on the outfit. I don't give a shit if you got to go shopping. You got, you got to rock that way. What? That would require you to get nails every day. Like, you can only wear those colors. If y'all want to get y'all shit painted, then paint y'all shit a color you got outfits. You heard me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so... So, so I got a doc you on mm -hmm. that. I got a doc you on that on the on the style side. So she then went down to a six. I'm sorry. You that's can't sad. back to you. I didn't doctor on the that, style. That's sad. That's mm -hmm. sad. What do you give her? Let's uh, hear it. All right. Don't be. He like them titties. Look at them. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at them, but I damn near just see them. I damn near even see the nipple sometimes. But whatever. All right, so, <laughs> I like her titties. Ain't like I seen them titties like over there across the room. I know you've seen them titties too. Everybody's seen them titties. I ain't seen them. We got hippie titties. We already said they were nice. I ain't seen them. Everybody agreed that they were nice. Titties sitting out at the campfire and shit. I mean, look. All right, so. I have a pretty butt. What titties? You got some nice ass. You got some nice titties. Nice. All right, so look. We're going to do it like this. Sexiness rating. The shirt brought you down. Oh. The pants brought you up. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I like the hair. I like the hair. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a good note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 6.5. Like roller skates wow, on okay. the beach. No, no, no. You still up here. Hey, she, 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 I, that's your yeah. 6.5, so I got to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, oh, no. <laughs> fuck all she you said guys. She said the pressure just set in. Yeah. She's like, oh, shit. Okay. So check this out. Now, see, you're a paradoxical character. And one, That's she's very much, she's very again. paradoxical. Okay. Yeah. Meaning it has mm -hmm. conflict. I love you it. hear me? Because I look at her from a distance. I'm like, ah, this is basic white girl. You know, she's wearing billet ball. Eh. <laughs> but, but she fucked me up though. Cause I'm like, from a distance, I'm like, all right, she wearing some linen pants. The, the titties look righteous. That's cool. Um, the hair looks like a, she was raised middle class or better. You feel me? Because there'd be some raggedy white girl. She'd be like, girl, you grew up in poverty. But she she was raised at least middle class, and that's a beautiful thing. Um, but when I see these nails, that's kind of turned me on on the sexiness side, right? Because I'm looking at the outfit. I'm like, okay, Martha Stewart. But then, right, like if I'm looking at the hair and the pants, I'm like, Martha Stewart. Then I look at the shirt. I'm like, okay, we going to Dre's tonight. <laughs> then I look at the nails and I'm like, this white girl is lit. She probably about to do some whole nasty shit. You heard me? I could have her drive a brick of cocaine to Philly for me. You heard me? She with the shits. Um, so I know she like her a thug, dude, because the way these nails going in. So that's going to boost you up on the sexiness. And the way she behaved, too, because she chill. She stay low key. But as you said, she know how to speak up when she needs to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think she's going to take this pipe like a champ. You, ma'am, have an eight on sexiness. Now, go ahead. Now you release. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, you want me to go? What you mean? Oh, get your ass up there. What you mean? Oh, I already gave the, gave the outfit. Because I said it was simple. You gave the outfit, but you ain't get a rating now. Okay. So I'm Jamie, like playing that. Jamie playing games. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie playing games. Jamie Jamie playing games. Jamie playing games. 
Jamie, right, Jamie, Jamie in the middle. Come on, girl. Jamie, playing games out here. All right. Y'all haters in y'all chat, they're going to say y'all $50 super chat to talk their shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here for it. Keep that coin. Okay? <laughs> I said I'm here for it. All right. I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Here we go. All right. $20 or better. If you want to, if you want to say anything about Jamie, 20 or and up. Oh, yours is a hundred dollars. Okay. Got you. Don't say nothing. Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. Style. Okay. Jamie, turn around. All right. Let me see. All right. I know, I know you're chilling. No, don't you have to keep telling me that? All right. I know you're chilling. They all was chilling. There's some of them came in here lacking for sure. Um, definitely didn't iron. Last person didn't iron their damn pants. But um, here we go. All right. So you got these. You got these joggers on. All right. Sweatpants. These are not joggers. These are like jeggings. They're jeggings. Yeah. Jeggings. Yeah. These are jeggings. Blair. Jeggings. You know, I never bought those at all. I don't. I don't buy jeggings at all. I'm just, I'm, oh, it's not a man thing. Yeah. yeah, they selling for men. Yeah, like, so. like a man wore jeggings, you're automatically cut the fuck you off because what are you doing? Wait, oh no, jeggings, like a jeggings. legging slash jean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like like like, like a, a jean a jogger. That's what I was thinking in my jean head. Slash take that shit off. Okay, I'm not light skinned That's probably I don't know, but okay, okay. All right, so look, black pants. You got like this Kanye like like uh, hoodie type thing going on. Uh, okay, okay, and then which where your accessories at? I don't have any. I was you got contacts. I don't. You wear glasses. Yes. I'm okay. All right. <laughs> and then, and then, Same. 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 I got I got some Gucci shades yeah, too. Gucci. And then and then uh, yeah, the I big shop, you know, I'm back. gonna have to girl. Come on, stop <laughs> it. You didn't came here with the style. I'm gonna you gonna get a um. I mess with Jean Jackets. Actually, own a lot of them. Own like too many, so many that is ridiculous. I think I think my, most of my closet is probably Jean Jackets. Right. So like, the camera, we got some ratings on, for you. On style, we gonna have to really give you because this is like this is like some simple like I'm leaving the house and I can go about my day. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna give I think a four two, three. You get a four. I'm gonna give you a three point five. Yeah. <laughs> 3.5. The jean jacket saved you. Wait, who did you give it to? Who'd you give it to? Oh, that was I gave it to. Was that you that gave it to or I gave it to? Damn, I'll be handing out ratings. I don't yeah. even remember. I forgot. Okay, all right, cool. So that was your, that was your style rating, right? Yeah. I took you ain't gonna turn around. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Okay, so on style. <laughs> On style, I'm gonna give you a a two because it looked like you just got fired. Not fired, no. But, uh, I'm not kidding, damn. <laughs> nah. I snatched the bathroom right off the stairs, damn. Nah, it looked like. <laughs> you know what? You got those badass kids all day like me. Go ahead, though. <laughs> I'm not even gonna play with him. <laughs> Oh, I Nah, it looked like you. <laughs> this man can't even get the words out, yo. Skip me. Now nah, just go. Just go. Just, what was my rate? My rating was a two. Yeah. I give a two on style. Just go. Just go. I can't even go. Just go. Okay, sexiness. No sexiness. Girl, yeah. ain't, ain't nobody asked you that. <laughs> Not my mom's son. <laughs> ain't nobody Not asked my you that. Son. Okay, so look, sexiness. Turn around, turn around. All right, jeggings. This is a new thing. If women are wearing jeggings, this is it a jean legging? Is a jean legging? A jegging. A jegging. Jegging. Yes. So it looks like a legging, but it has pockets. No, 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 no. It's, it's like denim, like, but it's a little it's stretchy like denim. Stretchy. So it's okay. Yeah. Okay. So that I like leggings. So this, 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 this is good. Yeah. Uh, jean jackets. I like that too. I like hoodies. Actually, I wish more women wore hoodies. Actually, I love, like, I I love, love hoodies. Like hoodies. I, I don't think I've ever I seen her anybody say that. That's deep. Oh, yeah. Do you mean like baggy hoodies or skinny hoodies? I like a baggy. Yeah, like that stuff's like, cool. I, like, I, like, I, like I think that's super dope. Just in, in general, for every anybody in general. I like glasses. Glasses are a boost. I think glasses really do boost sexiness a lot. So, but we're gonna have to dock you for that hair, though. Because girl, you came here with that hair. I'm gonna dock you. 
I, I know this is the you ain't know you showing up and you ain't know this Girl, is your own picture. You ain't know I know, I know, I already I know. Like Cause like some of y'all didn't know a couple things I done caught y'all slipping. So um all right. Hmm. On sexiness, we would have in general this an outfit like this would probably get somewhere around maybe like a six for me. It'll be a 10 for me because baby, I like to be comfortable. Okay. I, I, see, that's not really the goal for me. I, I don't care about a girl looking comfortable. Okay. I'll, all right. You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Ishmael writes, uh, seems like broke MFs have stopped commenting. Come on, guys. I know we got more than a dub to spend, Saints. Anyways, back to Orange Locks. I'm on your head, baby. I got locks, too, so I like it. I'm back in Vegas Saturday. What's good? Okay. What's good? Hey. Are you trying to spend oh, some money? Back, hey. Oh, Lord. That That's is... what I like. Pharaoh, oh, Lord. Pharaoh from the East writes, Big buddy, skinny legs. I like it, but your jacket was about to explode. <laughs> These boys is evil out here. Woo. Okay. Now, sexiness. All right. <laughs> Because <laughs> y'all didn't care, y'all didn't even care when you said I'm gonna be laughing. Nah. I'm joking. We skipping him again. He's still laughing. <laughs> he's still laughing. <laughs> he's still laughing. <laughs> the first thing. That's why. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm trying. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, That's why mom keeps trying, crying, to, but at this crying. point, you're doing a little too much. Can, can somebody Breathe. get him a tissue? Inhale, exhale. <laughs> okay. Nose, mouth, nose, mouth. Breathe. Ooh, he can't. Breathe. This, this man, he's sweating. <laughs> God damn. His fancy hat that he has for sale. His <laughs> fancy hat. All right. Can we get into the topic? Yes. Let's get into the topic. What's the What's topic? The uh. Right. So, dude, what's up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a real clowny real life. Yeah, listening to him breathe in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. I'm going to tell you later. I just For some reason, I can't say. I'll, go ahead. Okay, so look. Uh, ladies, uh, the topic of today. We have uh, two great questions, and I believe we have a video at the, at the same time, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, number one. Uh, the question I would like to ask you is, what is your purpose in a relationship? Ooh. So we'll start from here and then move all the way down. My purpose in a relationship? Yeah, yeah. What is your purpose in a relationship? God. Okay. It's <laughs> so like when you're in a relationship, what's your purpose towards the other person? Why are you there? Um. Well, I'm there to, one, vibe with that person. Two, vibe. To well, because <laughs> okay, <laughs> something is wrong with him. Okay, but you want to be well. I won't say you because I'm gonna speak for myself personally. No, you can I say wanna, me, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, I would like to be with somebody who one I can build with, who will build me, and I can also further build them. Like we go together, we mesh, we you know mm -hmm. escalate together. Um, two. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm out here. I'm okay. Glad. To somebody who you have a good time with, like you may find. No, no, no. What's your purpose? What's your purpose? <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm getting there. <sighs> My purpose is to find that person, like your spirit animal, somebody oh, shit, who you Max. can. <laughs> <laughs> Does, she say... Does she say spirit animal? Okay, oh, spirit. No, we get. I only said that because she called me her spirit she animal. She about to earlier, activate master like troll mode. Made, it kind of made a. She called me her spirit animal, and it like, you know, somebody who you can vibe with, somebody who you can elevate with, somebody who you don't mind waking up to, somebody who you don't mind all the flaws with, like somebody who, because you gotta like all the bad stuff, because obviously like the good stuff you're spending your time. Do you have but, any tattoos? No. None. None. I bet nobody guessed that. That's crazy. That was unexpected. You be catching me <laughs> slipping. I, see, I like her. Asian mom, no tattoos. Right, right. Because you like the person you're dealing with to, to be able to surprise you. You don't want to be able to predict them. You need some spice there. And I like that about you. You got a lot of spice. Thank you. Tell me your name again. Me? 
Dang. Yes. I'm looking dead at you, Shorty. Serena. 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 Yeah. Like the tennis player spelled differently. Yeah. Beautiful. Talk to mm -hmm. me. Um, my purpose in a relationship is definitely to elevate each other, but also um, just I don't really think I find purpose in a relationship. I find purpose in like my career and my personal purpose. But we like have a career some, woman here. Well, finding someone who also knows their purpose and coming together and just being able to push each other to really just reach what we so feel ladies, is our mission. I'm gonna have to stop y'all. Y'all not about to beat around this question. Y'all gonna answer my question, okay? I said, what's your purpose in a relationship? Well, like, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why are you there? Happiness. This is the question of why. Love. Why Love. are you there? Why are you? Why do you even exist to this person? Why do, should they find you to be important? It's a deep question. Why should they find me to be important? Like he's saying, like, like, you, you're, like you're, you're creating it. You're creating the purpose. That's what I'm saying. It's your purpose. You create it. My yeah. role is just showing someone what's possible, and um, like I said, just elevating someone because I don't. For me, I don't really find purpose in a relationship. Like Fair enough. that's why it's like I don't feel like I need a relationship because I don't find purpose in that. So you're single right now? Yeah, and I've been she's for mingling. a while, Ooh. and I don't really find purpose in somebody else. Oh my so, goodness! Do you have a vibrator? Yeah, <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who doesn't? That has a purpose. Um, yeah, that does have a purpose. My last question for you before we go on: uh, What's the oldest guy you've ever dated? Um, 25. I okay. Think. Cause she only had two years to do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I can't tell you about the other ones. Yeah. Uh, carrying on. All right. So we're talking about the purpose in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I feel like mine, like, you know, the whole Eve came from Adam's rib. I feel like mm. mine is a rib is a supporting bone. Church. I feel like. That's my role. Like what you like, and this is why I mm. haven't had a boyfriend because people take advantage. Can you quit lying to I'm everybody? Not, I mean, I swear, damn, I, are you gonna lie to I, everybody no, right I now? Swear to God, because blue this caps is, coming in. No, 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 no. Because this is why. This is why. This is why. Because I feel like I play my role very well. It's very. What do you need done? Mm -hmm. I know how to get it done, and I'm mm. very good. But at you ain't never had a boyfriend though. So, so how you, what are you speaking I've from? I've had a three-year oh. situation. I have had long situations. Oh, this is Jada Pinkett. We got Jada Pinkett on the show. Long entanglement. I said it was somebody that okay, my longest one oh. we were long distance. So it's like I wasn't gonna Ooh. commit to somebody long. Do you distance. have a vibrator? I have a few. <laughs> yeah, so Lord. wait, my question is this. You got a whole can, toolbox. Wait, you never <laughs> long long distance relationship. Did you ever see the person in person? Yeah. A few times a month. But it wasn't enough because like he lived a certain life. But wait, you, I, you never had a relationship though. Because I don't, if I did not consider you Ooh, my boyfriend. he thought he was in a relationship, no, but she, she wasn't. wasn't. Ah! 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 Damn, savage. Don't, don't let these, no, don't, no. You're not going to play me like that. I feel bad for him. No, it was if very you having girl problems, I, I feel bad for you, I son. would not be in a relationship. He wanted me to be his girlfriend. I'm like, no, because you do this, this, and this. What did he do? He was in a certain lifestyle where it's like, I I understand that you have like to an alternative that. lifestyle. No, it's just like he had things going on where it's like, okay, okay, you do you do this. This is what this is your daily movement, right? And I'm not okay with that, but I'm gonna let you be you, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do me here, and mm -hmm. so that's fine. And we had that understanding. So it's like when we're together, it's love, and when we're not, did you have sex with this person? Yes, what? absolutely. On. So wait, huh? What are How you long were we all together for? Like three years. Huh? Oh. Oh. I wait. Love. Stop! Um, this is some never a situation. Get the caps out! I want every cat alive out. It's a situation. It's a situation. Okay, would you date someone if you lived here, right? Would you date someone that lived in Philly that could that probably fuck five different girls a week? No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that because that's dumb. Why From within, writes the big one probably maxes out on the last pull down. What was that? What? Mean? I, don't even know. I can't even do a pull down. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back. I don't know what the pull down means. Okay. Um, carrying on. Well, my purpose is in a relationship. My purpose is to elevate. Um, if you can't benefit me and I can't benefit you, I can't grow on you, you can't grow on me. Right. I don't want to be in it with you. Like it's not a relationship, it's a situation. We need to go up. We out here doing things that 
maybe we should be doing it in a relationship, but yeah. no commitment. Because me personally, I don't commit to no man unless you show me. Can you commit to a man who to. tells you he's like, look, you all the way real and I appreciate that. And I want to keep it all the way real with you. So I got you and I have her and we're going to rock That's like an this. That's understanding. Is I'm not committing to no man who's uh -huh. committing to any other woman Oh, who's making anybody else oh, you, feel like they have greedy. the position I have? You're greedy, okay. You're not my man. You're greedy. But you somebody I mess with. You you're cool. Greedy. You my, you know, my little friend. Mess up our family? Like my mama said. Why she? Why she trying to break our family apart? <laughs> At the end of the day, like a commitment to me is big. Like it's Whoa. bigger than just like a few little words. I, I'm appalled. He said, I'm Look, I'm appalled. I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all already said certain kinds of guys are rare, right? So if yeah. you don't want to be with a square or a sucker, some of y'all going to have to get together on one good man. Because the problem is this. You guys end up having a man all to yourself, but he's not worth a damn thing. So why would you rather not have 50% of a great man than 100% of a man who ain't shit? I want 100%. I want 100% of a man who's worth giving shit to Can I because when I put all my eggs in one basket, I'm going to put it all in there, That's not. but I'm not going to give it to you. If you're not worth it, I'll tell you if you're worth it and half these niggas, oh, half the these racism. men out here, oh my. half these men out here are not worth it. Mm. It's not racism. It's just, racism. I don't give a fuck what color you are, what race you are. <laughs> You got to show me something that is worth committing to. Got gotcha. you. I'm not you're, you're getting your money. Can I say like something? You can't you're give somebody 100% of yourself. I Jamie. Like if you're with a man that can handle more than one woman, oh, that's different. Okay, wait. She's talking yeah, some wait. sense. She's talking wait, some sense. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, like, honestly, I feel like there are certain type of men that know how to manage multiple, multiple women. women. And if you can do that, great. It's a, okay. We all, under, we all understand the placement. Mm. But yeah, we're all getting what we need. Thank you. Like, if we're all getting what we need, Okay, whatever. Thank now you. keep it clean. Obviously, keep Thank it clean. You. Keep it PC. Transparency. Yes. And it's just like yeah. if if some yes. girls will allow you to treat them a certain way in public, that's great. I know I need a certain like. Okay, if you're here, you're wherever the heck, and you're here in Vegas in my city, you not you don't talk to anyone. Nah, else we here. gonna all live in the same city, baby. It's not an issue. Cause check this out. No, tell I me mean, if this. Tell me if we can that. rock with this. <laughs> Okay, we can both sit on your lap, but if there's more than enough that your lap can sit, then it don't matter. Like, go ahead, you gotta repeat that. I said, if we're all in the club, right? Okay, there's four women that you're able to maintain in Las Vegas, right? You only got two legs. If one can sit on your lap, another can sit on your lap. Yeah. Number one, I don't like to go up to four, me personally, but all the same, no, I don't. I don't. I don't like to go up to four, but all the same. That's not what life is about. You hear me? Life is not about the time you spend having sex and life is not about who's sitting on my lap. Life is about, am I being provided for? Is there a long-term plan for me to provide for my happiness and my prosperity? Do I have a man who's a real leader and can actually get the job done? And so the thing that's perplexing me is when I told you guys a long time ago, you can't handle the truth. In reality, this world is not equal. This was a world of hierarchy. So it's not fair that there's some guys who have a roommate in Las Vegas. You heard me? Y'all mm -hmm. probably dated some. They got a whole roommate. You got what? Three roofs, right? You got two apartments in, in one building, one here. Yeah. I got two apartments in one building on the other side of the strip. Got a five bedroom over there and got other places abroad. We the big dogs, we get to eat more. You hear me? So it's like, why are we going to play games and act like I should be eating what these other guys is eating? Yeah, they should have one woman because that's all they can manage. They can barely manage themselves. So why would you act like me being a manager of people and assets that I wouldn't be able to handle assets. one and two? Well, because I'm I want to hear her answer real quick and we're going to get right back to you. Just because she had, she had jumped. I just want to hear her say something reasonable. I think you can I think you can manage one or two. One or two is great. But then some people, they get greedy and they get into four or five. No, six I'm just saying. So, can, so one what's two up is, with we two? We agree on one and two. Could you, could you be one of two? We all live in Vegas. We all keep it honest. You know what it is. Quit making that face. We all live <laughs> <laughs> we all, I'm just trying to see what's real. Because the thing is, y'all will say, oh, I got to have my man. Like, she's like, he got to be all mine. I bet my life that half the guys you thought were all yours 
yours with fucking four or five girls on the side <laughs> lying to you. I, so I'm not asking you a question. We I'll fuck a bitch with my man. That's what I'm, I'm not saying, trying to even do that. Honestly, I'm not even trying to, I don't even to get me. out like that. Like, you need to be like, I, I need got to energy be able like to trust that, you like you trust me. Like, like, what? Okay, like, you so can find the right situation where both of the girls, like, you know, you got to, I feel like a lot of men play that setup game. Where it's like, oh, I'm here with this girl. She knows yeah. talk. Because a lot of people, a lot of, I feel like men don't give us enough credit for what we're willing. Like, if we. That's why I'm trying to give you credit. Way, that's what that's I'm saying. Can you mess with the situation? I could. I have. I'm not saying I will because I'm at a point where it's like, look, oh, I want shit. certain things. But <laughs> I'm fine with it. If it's on some, okay, we're all out together. It's like, oh, yeah, I fuck with, I fuck with her. And, you know, you know my situation with you. What's up with it? And I'm like. That's honest. That makes me have to choose what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, you can. I'll, Why right, can't you mess with it anymore? Huh? Why can't you mess with it anymore? Um, it's not. I learned from me. It's not. It's just not great for my mental peace. And it's like I can handle that situation. I just don't want to. Like I could. I don't care to because it's a lot. Of, it's not me. I don't care. You like, cannot control your most base emotions. That's the issue. No, 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 no. You no, can't no, control no, no, your no, no, no. your low emotions. I can, I can it's not your my good emotions. emotions. It's the base no, ones. And remember what you guys said be in the beginning. The the whole like caliber of the relationship isn't like about like all the good times. It's about the bad no, times. Listen, and I, that's when you really know the person, how they respond in those bad times. I can control my base of emotion. My problem with a lot of relationships is I control it too well. They don't think I like them enough because, oh, they bring another girl around and I'm supposed to buck up. Like, no, I'm not going to do that because what I don't care enough. And it's like, I know that's what you're on. So I'm not going to trip about it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just yeah. for me, it's not it's not that a lot of times it's the other girl can't handle it. And I don't do that messy shit. So it's right. like, you know, we can navigate. We just have to navigate honestly, openly but and figure it out. Do What's so, so crazy say, is I don't if think I say I'll catch you on the flip. Yeah. Like, okay, y'all can handle that. I'm not, if I'm, if my energy's off, I'm not going to enter it. So it's like, okay, <laughs> y'all can handle that. Just hit me tomorrow. I'll make a rapport with, like, let's say this is a situation, right? I'll make a rapport with her. You know, I like you, you know, we're cool. Let you know, this is not a non-threatening thing. I'm not trying to put my foot down over here. I'm not trying to put my foot down over here. And then it's like, okay, if I know I'm not really with it tonight, y'all have fun. See, hit you said tonight, tomorrow. like, <clears throat> I'm not talking about tomorrow. like a menage a trois. I'm not talking I, I about know, that I just at all. Mean in general, like, like you know, yeah, because I don't like to mix it up like that. We're gonna you're gonna get dedicated time, and you're gonna get dedicated time. But you were saying something. Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'm just saying that I ain't sharing nobody with anybody. Um, I'll this give the girl who over here like I don't need a relationship. Yeah, exactly. I'll and then you're like, well, what if you gotta share? I ain't sharing a damn thing, nigga. <laughs> no, I ain't. I'll give a hundred percent of myself. <laughs> I'll give 100% of myself before I give anybody any percent of me. See, this is why women I, need male leadership because nothing anybody. they say adds up. I it never goes leader. one, two, three. That doesn't mean I need it a always goes like eight, 43, nine, nine, four. <laughs> I have a male leader in my life. Wait, you said what? I have a male leader in my life. That doesn't mean I need You're talking about your leader. father? No. Okay. She said like that was ludicrous. Yeah. Yeah, she damn. was disgusted. <laughs> who was he? My father. Yeah, no, can we, she <laughs> was pissed. No, my dad. Who, who is he? No. Can you walk me outside Shut to the parking up. lot? Good Lord. I'm she, not, I'm I'm who's this male she was outraged. I have a male mentor, but that doesn't mean Oh, I he's a mentor. Stop yeah, it. that doesn't mean I need a relationship. Oh my God. I need the guy. I'm, I don't need I am the guy teaching curious. me. Like, I don't need a guy who's teaching me how to make money, teaching me how have like, you guys had any intimate like, contact? That. No, okay. I don't need All that. Right. Fair enough. I need to learn how to make money. If I wanted a relationship. Why, why do you think you're so money I, focused? Why I'm so money focused. That's my because question. Because I was born into this world alone and I'll die alone. You were born in poverty? I was, I came into this world as a being alone and I'll go out alone. Well, unless no, you but were, that has nothing to do with yeah, money, though. Uh, unless, I'm the, saying because I'm focused on myself. Yeah, I'm focused uh, on myself. Unless you were is a money twin. the only thing that you are about? Though? Yeah, unless you were a twin. Yeah, unless you were a twin. We See, was all born alone, baby. Like, Tell me something push. I don't know. I'm asking you a real question. Can we get a real okay. answer? Yeah, so I'm focused on money because I'm focused on my mission and what I want to accomplish. Like I said in the beginning. No one wants to accomplish money. And I'll tell you how I it's know for a fact. It's not money. It's my mission. And with What's my your mission, mission. But you only been talking about money, money, right? I ain't heard. What's the mission? The mission is impacting as many like lives as possible. I would just want to help as many people as possible. But why has that become a money mission? 
Well, because the more impact you make, the more money you make. I mean, it's common sense, really. That is, that is not true. How is that not true? Yeah, I, I know a lot I know of wealthy men. Don't have money. I know okay, a lot of wealthy have... men that don't make an impact on the world. That like sell video games to like used to be like blockbusters and stuff like that. It's not a big impact thing, and they find what I'm doing incredible because they see the impact I'm having. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not the same okay, in terms of just I'm making confused. money. You just impact. said you're making impact and you're mm -hmm. making money. But you said the other people aren't making. He's not impact. making an impact, but he is making, making money. money. And there's a lot oh, yeah, of people no, no, no. who that's make the, impact that's without making money. That's definitely a possibility. But I'm saying that my mission is to make an impact while making an income. No, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. But I think that you've led with the money so far, mm -hmm. and so we haven't definitely heard your mission. Definitely because with insurance, the more people you help, the more money you make. I like that you've been able to tie your insurance business into helping people because I think 99.9% .9 of everybody else does not find insurance to be like well, a, here's the thing. a here's public the thing. good. Here's the thing. Yeah. No, but so I like it. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. You sit down with a family and nobody wants to talk about insurance. Nobody really even wants insurance. But at the end of the day, imagine if you left that family unprotected and then the next day someone in the, the person you sat down with dies mm -hmm. and you realize you didn't push hard enough for the sale She'd be and if you would have just boy. pushed harder for the sale wow, and you would have impacted that family more to mm -hmm. buy they would be receiving x amount of money mm -hmm. for the policy but you just didn't push hard enough so wait can i say something check this out <laughs> this was really gonna trip her all right like oh, okay let's try to trip her go ahead no no no, no. Try to trip like, her. this this is crazy like okay selling insurance right mm -hmm. like you framed it in your head that you want to impact lives and then make money, right? Yeah. And um, is there a barometer of how many lives? Or which one do you want to do more? More impacting of people or make more money? Well, here's the thing. Like I said in the beginning, the more families that I sit down with and help, the more mm -hmm. money I make. So it's mutually beneficial. When she gets some real game, she's going to be okay. dangerous. I like her. I like her vibe. You, yeah. You're going to be dangerous. I like she that. She got the right game, though. Yeah. No, That's she, the problem. She, she, <laughs> she, but you know what? Right. She's a seeker, and she's a real student, and I can tell that. And I think I believe that when that ism comes to her at the right time, they say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You hear me? So you yeah. could tell her the realest shit in the world, but if she ain't ready for it right now, it don't mean nothing. Mm. But my, my old heads used to tell me, they'd be like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they'd be like, you understand when you're older. That's facts. Oh, and sometimes it's not older. Sometimes yeah. it's just when you get a certain experience because you're you're extremely yeah. mature and very intelligent. Um, but uh, I like also that you like to get to the bread. That's a beautiful thing. Mm. Um, shout out to Sinclair. He writes, I was on a value filled Patreon call with Marquette yesterday regarding finding an enemy's weakness. Now I know what Marquette's weakness is. And that's three XL denim jackets. <laughs> Get on the Patreon for super value and information. Peace to the Saints. Um, yes, patreon.com slash the Saint the Center. Lots of information on business, on creating your first money machine, on thriving in life and uh, getting these hoes. Um, no, it actually was not the jean jacket. It was not anything you were wearing. Actually, it's ironic. It was nothing you were wearing. <laughs> Yo, B actually you know, motherfucker. <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all, y'all didn't catch it what he said. Y'all didn't know why he was laughing, but I was gonna let you tell them. Cause I, I told him when we were sitting over there. See, that's what y'all did. Y'all didn't, oh, didn't no. know. Y'all didn't know. I was trying so hard to say two things. When the second time I was trying to say, your feet actually did a motherfucker. I <laughs> Yeah, and, and then the first time I was trying to say, it looked like you got fired from Starbucks. And those are the two, I, for some strange reason, I couldn't get it out. Ain't um, nothing worse than ashy feet, I swear to God. Right. Them hey. bad boys be catching on covers and everything. But one oh, thing I, I really like feet. about you, and I think you're going to be successful because of it, is because you got thick skin. Definitely, mm -hmm. you have to. You're smart. You got some personality. Thank you. You're willing to articulate, and more importantly, you're crazy enough to put yourself out there. Definitely. And that's facts. Always. Yeah. See, this yeah. is the thing. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When I walked into the room, I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, like, oh, you want to, okay. I'm like, oh, damn, like, oh, it wasn't that type of party. Oh, I didn't get dressed, but yeah. I don't care because, I, like you said, I know how to articulate. I know how to be in a room with a bunch of bosses, and I know how to, I know how to come off. Like, I can sit at the table. Right. There's a lot of people who can't sit at the table. I'll bring the table. I can sit at the Ooh. table, and I can bring more people to the table. Now, mm -hmm. to go off of what, um, I'm sorry, can you say your name one more time? It's okay, Serena. Serena, Serena. said... <laughs> I love her and I resonate with her so much mm -hmm. because she reminds me of my younger self. Mm -hmm. Everything that she has said as far as being a boss, being money. Mm -hmm. And I had someone Did named Did you have Clint. a shirt like that though? 
Yeah, the titties. See, my titties too big, so okay. they yeah, okay. yeah. But I got uh, one of them okay. shirts. But <laughs> I'm but financing them. Somebody told me, like you said, <laughs> the teacher is gonna appear when the student is ready to learn. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me, shout out to Clint the president. He told me when I'm 30, I'm gonna be cold because <laughs> I had that mindset right. when I was that age, and I'm 26 now, I'll be 27 this year, mm -hmm. and I know I bring it all. Yeah. So you said. What do you bring to a relationship? Like she said, I was going to say that you're of mm. the rib. So you're there to support. You're there to add. But you also want your cup filled up as well. So I'm filling up cups. Uh, one thing I do want to <laughs> say, though, is to, to the saints who are making cracks on weight. In any situation, you'll never persuade someone through negativity or through hurting their feelings. It's just never going to happen. One thing I will say on a serious ass note is like we do. We are all about health. Right. And we do want you to be healthier right. and anything we can do to support that we will. And we literally do have workouts here where the guys come together and we get it in. And that's something that I'm sure is probably already on your list that you're right. working on. And so I think that it's more constructive when people do something out of love, but you could feel love and that didn't feel right. like love. Um, so we don't, we don't, it was funny. I ain't gonna lie. I laugh, but it's not, that's not building up people. That's not yeah, what, no, what I agree with what he said. And, and you are going to be receptive if you come off negative. Yeah. And, and also yeah. on that note, like just to gang up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because it wasn't just one person; it was multiple. Oh, that was going in. Was I was like, in. I was like, y'all, yeah. like after y'all seen the first person, y'all should have been like, I know this is about to like you, you you saying something that don't need to be said at that point. It's redundant, right? Men play like that though, like men, y'all. Like, you throwing oh, us under the bus? Uh, but like, girls that's really do that's more. Yeah, that's, they, they that's, have to take, that's like that's a lot of no. That's just the human thing. That's people, yeah, that's mob yeah. mentality. That's mob but like, mentality. Men more so would do that. Like, but people mob have mentality? to. They have to talk down You're and not, they have to make themselves. They have to pull themselves up by downing other people. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like I said, I've been this way my whole life. It don't mean shit. It come on and roll off. I'm not worried about it. But younger, but I advocate for younger girls because. Mm -hmm. I know that there are girls who are in that same situation. They're heavier. They're this. They're that. And it's not that they're unhealthy. Like I said, my, my I'm good. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna bullshit with you with you because to me it's not love to mm -hmm. to let you think something is right that ain't right. Just like mm -hmm. my mom tell me like, oh, I exercise today, but oh, what you do? She like, I went for a walk. I was like, nah, that's not exercise. Right. You know what I mean? If you can do something that's not strenuous, that's mm -hmm. not exercise. Right. And so we always say you got to get that holy water flowing every day. Exercise is right. like prayer. So out of love, yeah, I want to see you make some progress. Right. Might be one pound in a month. We moving forward. That's all it is. Right. You hear me? Um, and I would never bullshit anybody because that's 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 hatred when you let somebody right. think they doing the right thing when they ain't. Yeah. Like if my lips was hella dry right now, I would hope you would tell me. You hear right. me? If I have something in my nose, like let me know what it is. Mustafa comes through with a super chat. Actually, baller alert. He ain't even say nothing. Pharaoh from the East writes, Peace of the Saints, Marquette, you had me in tears earlier. That was a good laugh. Great sense of humor. Jamie, you got a lot of heart and seem hella cool. Obviously, she is. These women wouldn't share, but someone will. Oh, you ain't never lied. And I right. think they will share. Thank you. When they figure yeah. out, yeah, I think they will share. Sure, they nigga. <laughs> I mean, they it's not, mean. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think oh, it's Lord. Not, Honestly, it's, it's, it's not, not even not sharing. Honest. The thing sharing. is, I feel How like, I feel like more than 85% of women share men and they don't know. They don't know. Right. And exactly. they don't know they're because right. I've been in situations so where I know about a dude's female or whatever but it's a choice that i want to make i don't because somebody has to respect my situation too i know what i'm doing like Thank and you. if you're gonna i don't put no emotion in it because if you do you're gonna always be unhappy you're gonna always be sad like i said i got the pick of the litter so i know what he's doing and i know what i'm doing but when i get with you we do make it do what it do and that's yeah. it and yeah. i feel like people need to take the personal aspect out of it like sometimes okay like let's say I'm dealing with somebody if he goes and focus with somebody else it's not a personal attack towards me men Correct. like different flavor. men could like uh, what's mint chocolate chip, vanilla? Yeah. And what she wants, what I want to do. She me. You know, it's just okay. Yeah. I just feel like eating, you know, different yeah. flavors today. Yeah. Like I feel like women, we think it's like, oh, if he, if she doesn't look like me, then he doesn't right. like me. Like no, yeah. like he yeah. like me, he like you. And what he get from her is different. You ain't never lie. Point them all out. Right. Yeah. Uh, to keep this on on track, just so we get through Sorry. all the girls. Fair. Uh, what do you? What, what's your purpose in a relationship? Why are you there? Oh, I thought I gave mine. Did you? Oh, did yeah, everyone gave theirs? You're in the bathroom, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. everyone gave this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's go fine. ahead, girl. My purpose in a relationship? Yeah, why are you there? Um, I would say it's two things. To give and receive unconditional love and to build an empire. And coming in with your own empire. Like, you have to be able to already have what you have and bring that to the table with somebody else. And 
that's when it makes sense for me to be in a relationship while simultaneously also seeing the flip side of it, not materialistically, but with the feelings and the emotions and the spirit and soul that there is real unconditional love, which is the highest feeling that you can get. Let me ask you a question. I'm dead ass about this, by mm-hmm. the way. Women and men are different. One of the tragedies of this age is that women think that men are like them. And that's because your daddy was a bitch ass nigga, but, um, um, or your brother was a, anyways, <laughs> because men and women are different. Like, for example, I love women because they're sweet. You hear me? Like, to be honest with you, if somebody got beef with me, kill everything. You heard me kill them, they parents, they kids, they dog, and I sleep good. I'm really like that. My mother, on the other hand, is the most sensitive person. She don't want to argue with nobody. She want everybody happy. And my mom unconditionally loves me and my brother, right? I love my brother less when he don't perform. I love my brother less when he embarrasses our family name. I love him more when he go out there and he associates fame and acclaim and accomplishment with our family name. Men and women are very different. That's women give un- unconditional yeah. love. Yeah. Men are janky as fuck. It, that's conditional. It's, yeah. It's very yeah. rare when men also get unconditional love. Well, you're saying receive it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't get unconditional love. Like, until you love us, it's not unconditional. Because low key off the rip, you're going to be like, uh, yo, you driving that car? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you love us, it's not unconditional. And I respect that. You heard me? Because I'm winning out here. But women don't understand the difference between male love and female love. And when Shorty, I said earlier, like, um, you know, you got to love them unconditionally for the whole thing. Like, the sad thing, women are great people. I got a, a, a young lady I'm not going to name, but her her mother stayed with her father. He had a, a fall. Like, he had like tripped over something and hit his head. And he used to be like a high up executive in a big corporation. He was ranking in like quarter of a million. He hit his head and his personality changed and he couldn't go to work. He's on disability. So they went from big baller shit to like super regular and the wife stayed. And that's a beautiful thing, but let's keep it funky. If it was the other way around and the woman hit her head, that nigga probably would have deuced up out of there. He'd have got up out of there. I would hope I wouldn't. Because me, if I got, you know, two women, you know, like, let's hold it together. If I got three women, let's hold it together. But if it was that one woman, I'd be scratching my head like, oh, you see what I'm saying? And I feel like that's just what it is. And we just got to respect it. Can I say something? So I would love to hear you say something. So something that I have realized recently as like something that makes me love someone so much more like men or women is just being oh, able are to you see, bisexual no just like oh i was just no saying, like you, you no okay so my sister, she I'll just explain. put it to me like I'll that i'll explain i'll explain okay so like my sister she was me and her were go? super beefy okay like we are very competitive but she was involved in two shootings now. She was Wait, at the Mandalay what? Bay shooting, the mass shooting. Was she doing the shooting or running? She was she was working. No, she's working at the Mandalay Bay shooting when okay. like the shooting occurred. And then okay. she also was at the mall recently when another shooting happening I happened. Stay away from her. Yeah, yeah, I know. And so she called me, and at the time we were like, not on, we're not cool most of the time. And so she called me. <laughs> That's and she like seriously was freaking out telling me like her goodbyes and it just made me realize like something that i appreciate the most is being able to see somebody's vulnerable side mm-hmm. and just i appreciate that the most because them being able to be open with me mm-hmm. means a lot to me just yeah. being able to show me like their weak side because that's what i feel like i appreciate the most but they can't be light skinned while they doing it. I feel you. Yeah. I feel yeah. you. I feel 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 you. I She be occurs. setting them up. She be like, show me your vulnerable side. And then they do it. They be like, see you light skin. Well, no. I knew you was going to do that. <laughs> she dirty. It, it depends. Uh-huh. The, the I, but now the next question, after all you girls have heard each other's responses. Can I hit this baller alert real quick? Oh, go ahead. You, baller alert. I think he heard uh, Sister Jamie. He writes, realest thing said was whole podcast. Shout out to girl with the jean jacket. I think he's talking about you, young lady. It's a hundred dollars. I said, I said, wait, I said, show. What's his name? Sinclair, shout out because you can you can pay which way you you know you that, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Thick skin always wins any shape or size. This is why men always settle down with personality over looks. And you know what? That's the realest stuff ever said. And you guys hear me all the time. I always say. If she can't earn, she could burn. Exactly. You heard me? 
And it matter what she looks like. It don't really matter what she looks like. It don't matter what she looks like. It's so crazy that he says it's coming because someone actually just last night they're interested mm. and they asked me what do I look for in a person and I told them personality because sometimes I can see someone that who's not so appealing to my eyes but mm-hmm. once I mm-hmm. engage with them I'm mm-hmm. like oh, okay mm. but you know right. what you know it's you know it's crazy what's crazy the sad part is like I think uh men lust for a beautiful Ooh, woman they do and then beautiful <laughs> women can't find it in themselves to actually have a personality because they can see that they don't need it to get things sometimes. So trying. Like, yeah, definitely. It's a sad thing. And that's not my man for the record. I don't even know him. I think that's true. But I feel like those apply to the very same. Okay, rather my, <laughs> rather my, rather my, rather my. That's what I was like. That applies. I feel like that applies to very stuck up pretty women. I feel like there's women who are, they know they're genuinely pretty. They know that they get that attraction, that yeah. the, those compliments, they yes. get that. And then they turn that like they're still very humble with it. I'll, but a, I feel like when, you, when you're when you that, totally, that, that pretty, where you feel like nan bit, nan woman can touch me, nan man can mm. tell me otherwise, and then you got that stank attitude with it. I feel you. It's different. It's different well, women- it's different levels to the I totally, insecurity. There's I t- different levels to the confidence that you portray. To I totally others. feel you. I totally feel you. <laughs> I totally do. Issue is the majority of beautiful women have no personality. Like I'm just saying, they have. Zero, and on top of that, they're horrible people. Oh, that's true. They're horrible that's true, human like beings. That's Shout why out. Women don't know how to pick men. Men don't know how to pick women. That's factual. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rob. He writes. Shout out to Jamie. She got thicker skin than most men. They be sensitive out here, don't they? Mm-hmm. Also, ladies, attraction is not symmetrical. What women look for in men is not what men look for in women. You ain't never lied. I, I agree. Getting the bag is cool, but it's not high in our value list. You ain't, bro, you ain't never lie. You heard me? I Lord. agree. Yeah. Can, can All right, we, so, oh, I got that next question loaded up. And can we wind down on that one? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. All right, so look. The last question, all you girls have heard exactly uh, what you guys are there in a relationship for to do. Now, here's the question, uh, and this is going to trip y'all up. Why would a guy, let's just say there's a guy here and all of you like him. Let's just say. Let's just say. Mm-hmm. Figuratively, you all like this guy. Yeah. You're like, this is the guy I want, but all of you want him. Mm. He the king. He's the king in the shirt. Why would he choose you over the other girls? What makes you so different? And that's why I asked, what is you? What's your purpose of being there? Because the only thing he's looking for is purpose. Someone who knows their purpose. They mess me. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start. Oh, it from, I'm starting yeah, first. Yeah, okay. yeah. What makes you different than all the girls here that he would pick you? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and 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 uh yeah um i already know what y'all gonna do y'all like well i mean not to offend them i'm like, gonna say some stuff like that no. so uh act like you don't care about these girls and you're trying to get what you need <laughs> not all y'all staring at me like this. okay but we're, we're listening okay to you. so i feel like oh god why did i have to go first you, you, um should we let her come back to it nah okay hell nah. <laughs> Okay, so with me, I feel like I'm a genuine person. I'm a happy person. I have never been ashamed to be who I am or tell you what I am as a person. Um, I feel like I have a very open mind. I am not just like, oh, well, society thinks this, so I should think that too. No, Um, you could tell me, oh, I don't like this. I'm like, well, I do. So <laughs> we're going to either have a happy medium or we're going to agree to disagree. Um, um, if you're done, you're done. Mm-hmm. I'll start, yeah, I'm done for now. Okay. <laughs> Serena. Okay. So for me. So wait, let me say this question again, just okay. so everyone remembers. That's a good call. What makes you different than all the girls mm. here on the podcast, she about this to guy talk would her choose shit. you. Why would he choose you? And remember, he he's a guy that's focused on a woman knowing her purpose of being in a relationship. This is a, this okay. is a, this is a good guy. So before I address what I feel like I bring to the table, I'm just going to say that everyone has their own um, 
strengths that they bring into a relationship. I knew y'all going to say me, stuff like that. She didn't already, she didn't already complimented y'all before she's about to shit on you. No, <laughs> but anyways, so for me, I just feel like um, I'm very inspirational and empowering. I've had a lot of men tell me that, which is why I can't settle for A lot of men. Soft. Damn, girl. No, but Damn. that's why I can't settle for someone soft. So I feel like I'm very inspiring and empowering. So like for a man to get together with me, I feel like it almost feels like they need to level up to a certain level to feel like they're the man in the relationship um, because like I addressed earlier, like I'm not going to be the motivator. So I need someone who is going to rise to the occasion and be competitive. I said, what makes me? you different than all the girls here? Okay. And I said, I'm very competitive and I have a great mindset. So okay. if you're listening, you know, but anyways, oh, oh, so um, I mean, you just started talking other stuff. I didn't ask for that stuff. Anyways. So if you were listening, you would have not answered like that. I have a very good mindset and I'm very empowering, but also I feel like I'm very understanding so you can come to me with anything and I will try my best to understand from your perspective because I understand that my reality isn't your reality. So we might see things on a different perspective and that's where things get miscommunicated because I understand that the way you see things might be different than the way I see things. So we can come to a mutual understanding. Can you do one thing for me? What? Can you just look me in my eye and say one more time that you can come to me with anything? Why you? Oh, just because you're looking this way and you're you're talking about, <laughs> I mean, you just happen to be looking this way and you're, you're okay, talking okay, about. Okay. What, we can come to mutual understanding with anything. And I just feel like, like I, I thought said, I said, you can come to me with anything. Yes, you can come to me with anything. She didn't mean it. I'm if you were you, listening. Yeah. Not to you. <laughs> I'm not. She, she didn't uh, anyways, mean it. She didn't so mean it. So I just feel like I said, so great mindset, um, very empowering, okay. um, very understanding. Mm -hmm. And I feel like. I'm very calm and collected, so I don't escalate things to a level that they don't need to be escalated to, I which I that. feel like a lot of females, that's why they don't, they aren't able to be in business because they're very emotional. Women yeah. are very emotional creatures. And when things, you know, don't go their way, they blow it out of proportion. So I so feel like I'm very calm and collected. I, I asked you to lick me in my eyes and say, you can come to me with anything because number one, that's a, that's a very soothing phrase, isn't it? That's like mm -hmm. something like your, your mama, your grandma would tell you, right? It's yeah. like, that feels good to be able to come to somebody with anything, but I don't, I asked you to lick me in my eyes and tell me to see if you could do it to see how warm you are. Cause I feel like I don't perceive the I warmth. would rather look at Jabrizi at least. Cause well, I at least know Jabrizi. Okay. You uh, can come to me. Wait, I, wait, I told, I told her she was your girl earlier. I never and said she I kept was his fronting. girl, she but I know Jabrizi. Tell, tell that man. Tell that man. Tell okay. That man. Tell that. You can come to me with anything. Okay. There we okay, go. That's there we go. Yeah. Cause <laughs> that's beautiful. Cause I want to warm, I want her, I want to warm you up. I feel like of all the ladies on the panel, you're the least to me. I perceive you to be the least warm. Would you guys agree on that, or am I off some crazy shit? Like, like, can we warm? keep it funky? You kind of give off a, a stick. Yeah, like give a, a little, little fire cold. on it. Let me just very like, feisty. Very. And then, like, your first word is always like a like a cause I did You know, you know, you know. It's a, it's a very, very fire. 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 It's appreciated. <laughs> it's cute. Like, if any of us did it, we come off as aggressive. Like, you can get away with it. I think so. It's like no, but I'm saying like if I just said. Cause I can't, you know, it's some, they'll be, be like taking that, on, like, yeah, like for you, it's like this strong stance, and we get it, we respect it. Yeah. Oh shit! But it just kind of come off like Bro. you know, men want a little bit of like a oh, the softer, baby. Like a little bit of like, uh, like the, you can come to me a little bit, of, a little bit of that that feminine <laughs> that femininity that softening. It, a man comes to a woman to be that which he is not. So I come to you for that softness and that warmth and that nourishing. And I feel that from all of you. I feel like at, di like at different levels, you know, it's, it's a little lower over here, but I just want to see uh, what it do because being believable is a factor. Just like you guys don't want a fake guy who says, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I can yeah. be this and that. Like when you say like you can come to me with anything, I'm like... Oh only no, shorty! I don't know if I buy that. I don't know. Well, only um, to the one that's for me. Carrying on. All right. What makes you different than all the girls here? Why would this guy choose you? What makes me different is I feel like I'm honest. I know there's a certain type of guy I like of a certain, you know. Now let me state this: as, as you guys speak, you're low key saying that the other girls are not these things. Is it on? I'm honest. So you want me to? Because <laughs> so, these girls are That's, that's what you asked, so we all have to answer it. So I don't understand yeah. why. No, expect I'm just, us I'm, to take, You're expecting I'm us to take it I'm personal joking. and for us to take. We're not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. for me, I feel like 
there's a certain type of guy I want, and I know that type of guy has tons of options. And that's fine by me. And it's just like, look, we live in a competitive, it's a marketplace, you know, it's mm. a competitive place where it's like, look, I know I got to work out. I got to keep my skin nice, hair looking okay. good. Because mm. that's, I, your physique as a woman, men are visual creatures. It's what mm. you're looking for. Mm. Like, it's it's your, it's not what you're looking for, but it might, it's your first. It's, it's, okay, he looks this way real quick, <laughs> might take a double take because he might have seen what he likes. Mm. And so it's Ooh, like, okay. I understand that, you know, that means a lot. Me smelling good. And it's like, okay. You okay? You want um? What was your mix again? You want curry? <laughs> okay, you want curry. We are all chocolate. You want huh. a little vanilla? Okay, I huh. get it. We can explore together. We Italian can gelato. You know, like it, it. I understand. You know, not fully because I am still a woman. I understand a man's nature, and I'm not gonna expect anything different than that. Like that mm. doesn't make sense. But at the same time, I'm like, look. When you want to come home, you want a nice mm. cooked meal, I'll make you whatever you want to make. Mm. I got a bubble bath, your slippers, you do what? a rag, and we can, you know. Say no more. Okay. And, you know, Say no more. And a lot of people, they put too much of their personal. I'm not going to make it personal because it's not about me. It's, it's That's what you do on your own time is about you. Yeah. She She's trying to get this work. I'm just saying. Mm. She's trying to get this work. Okay. Right. Talk to me, Orange. Um, Me personally, I feel like what I would bring different to any other female is adaptability. I feel like, yeah, any woman can speak. I have a good personality. I'm this, I'm mm -hmm. that. But we know when it comes to a man, what they're really looking for, what grasps their attention, what keeps them intrigued. It's your adaptability to anything. Sexual, feminine, uh -oh. aggressiveness, Hello. submissiveness, mm -hmm. anything. Can you adapt to anything that I am looking for in those moments? Because mm -hmm. a man is going to treat their attention to anything that they find, you know, like that's mm. going to grasp your attention at that moment. You can be all you want to be as a woman. Mm. And they look at a one, another woman and see that like, oh, her femininity is showing, her sexuality is showing, her dominant side is showing, or her like submissiveness is intriguing me. Like, that's I feel like what really, most. what I can bring to a man is my adaptability. Like, I, you could put me in any situation, and I'm still gonna have all that you can give me, hey, all just, your attention, on a quick everything. Note, on a quick <laughs> note, on a quick note, sexiness, submissiveness, and uh, mm, uh, femininity, like just giving the feminine vibe. Which one do you think is the most rarest that a guy experiences? Femininity. femininity. You don't think submissiveness is? Submissiveness. No. I feel like. I feel like you can. Mm -hmm. I feel like a man can get a woman to submit if she's on her back. She already did. Mm -hmm. You know, like if she's on her back, she already submitted. You know, whether it's the way you wanted it to, she did. And so I feel like a lot of women yes. these days they aren't feminine because yes. they feel like they have to be a mother, a father. Yeah, oh, she, she can be a father. for a moment. But, that's, but they feel for, like they're trying. They tripping though. If a, if a <laughs> woman thinks she could be a father, she's gonna be just as good as that as I am at being a mother and breastfeeding, right? It just don't work. Mark, what I gotta turn into a demon. Oh, it's demon time. I gotta turn into a demon. This is demon time. I have to turn into a demon. We're not saying you're a female. It's the feminine I, aspect. Of we're gonna we're gonna finish this very briefly. I just have to turn into a demon. Right. Um, you said if a woman's on her back, then she's already submitted. What I've observed about the conversation with the girls is usually this. That's a damn lie. Ooh. You know why it's a damn lie? Because a woman would give you her body, uh -oh. but she'll never give you her mind. Wow. So I wow. said submission, and submission is not in the body, mm. it's in the mind. But, so at that point, no, uh, a woman is not giving you submission, and we all stated, eh, that's pretty rare, actually. Well, actually, no, femininity. But I'm like, I would say submissiveness because it's pretty easy to get her body, mm. but it's damn near hard in a relationship but to get her mind. It's not supposed to be. We just talking about what what's in real life, though. Yeah, but I feel we like just keeping it. She in the metaverse over here, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she be on a damn VR. Jamie, no, Jamie but... talk to us. What make you different? Why Why are you gonna choose you? I feel like men they they need somebody that is equivalent because nobody wants somebody that's weak that can't like say if you're they're not able to articulate something you're gonna swoop in and be like oh this is what 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 what. Or whatever. Wait, this is what? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, what? Where, 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 where do you come from? I'm from LA. Damn. I'm from okay. LA. Right. That, that, was, that was black right there. Yeah, I'm super black. From LA. black. She yes, said whoopty whoop and yada I mean, he skiggly boobop. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah right, go ahead. Yada I mean. But yeah, somebody that's like uh, equivalent. Like, I. 
I offer my own everything. Like I'm not looking to you for a financial stability, but or anything like that. But I want that masculine is something that where I feel secure and I feel safe, but I'm also giving you that softness and you're able to feel home with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm, I, I could dig it. But I, like, yeah, like I said, I'm, yeah, I'm able to meet you where you are like equivalent. Like I can speak up and, for us, mm -hmm. like, you know, cause some women can't do that. They just let the man do all the talking mm -hmm. in there. Oh, no, yeah. because if I fall, then I can't have nobody weak. You know, well, if I have someone weak, they ain't gonna be able to pick me up. They ain't gonna be able to handle the business. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she, she, you know what? <laughs> she got her jokes now. Okay, <laughs> okay. No, but really, definitely for real. MBA, let's go. Um, I think what makes me different is that I'm not even gonna sit there and try and explain to you why I'm different. Mm. You should feel that Ooh. off of me. Wait, right hold away. on. She and just you called me slipping, boy. You should want to pick me without me trying to pick you first it's just it's just has to happen like that if it's not like that and i have to sit here and explain myself at a table in a room full of people i don't even want you wow i don't even want you Dang. she she didn't went flip mode she's like look i ain't even got to tell you bitches why you want this pimping she knows she's what like he when wants. you when you he see a p he wants. He's just looking go ahead and it. choose up damn damn Damn. She, she said, I ain't explaining to you little know, bitty bitches. So she losing. All right. So. What's that? I feel like that gets you a certain type of man, though, that like. Yeah, a light skin guy. Okay. So. Uh, no. Uh, what? What? Huh? What? Nobody. nobody uh, the light skin guy didn't go for that? He obviously no. seen who you were. I don't know. Tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. So I came up to you and said, you like this tattoo? You don't have to. But I feel like if you're that girl that sits in the corner and like waits to be noticed, oh, Lord. go around like a bunch of like, I won't say alpha because I feel like alpha is not a woman's trait. But right. I feel like a bunch around the women that understand, okay, this is the prize. This is what we're going for. And we need it. Yeah. Because especially I work in Drake's. I work in a club. So right. like if we yeah. have that one table that comes in, mm. everybody's going to make sure they pop their face yeah. in just yeah. on some. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you do you I'm, do what I'm you gotta do, but at the yeah, end of the day, yeah. I'm not gonna make you pick me. I want you to pick right. who you like and who you vibe with and who you see yourself with. You know, wow, I put wow. myself out there to an extent. So you don't I'll pick. show up and show out, but that's it. I'm not doing more <laughs> than that. I show up and show out. And, that's it. and guys, yeah. take this as a note up. that that's game for know. women is completely different than it is for men. Mm. Uh, they can sit in a corner in a room and just wait. Where you gotta get your uh, butt up and <laughs> go spit some game. <laughs> they like I'm sitting in the corner and you should realize who you in the room with. Like what? <laughs> Shout out to Alec. He writes, "The older I get, the less uh, looks impress me." Peace to the saints. And we're gonna wrap it up. Just hit these last ones, and then we'll wind it down. Um, unbounded reality. Uh, writes Marquette, I just saw your IG story with Shorty in the black dress and gray hair. Now I see why you made her sit next to you. I'll take foreign sweet to breezy who you got. <laughs> um, okay, let me see. Uh, Sinclair writes, I like how she says adapt because a lot of other women will frame it as being controlled or groomed like it's a bad thing. No one is controlling you. You have free will, but we only take those who adapt seriously. Wow, very nice. That's a beautiful mm. thing. Okay, we have had a wonderful time. I appreciate you all being here and adding to this ism, your me, and sharing your perspectives honestly and having thick skin. I've really enjoyed this. I've learned a lot. It's been a real pleasure to meet you all. I know apparently she's my friend. I just met her. I, you know what I'm <laughs> I just met everybody here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wind it down and we're going to close it out with our usual. We're just all on three going to say Saint City podcast. But if you have any special goodbyes, we'll let you go ahead and kick off your special goodbye and then we're going to roll out. Got him. <laughs> Got him. I never hit this. Follow me. A Y Y D E R I C H 80 rich on Instagram. Okay. Okay. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Winter again. XOXO underscore Winter with three R's. And as an insurance plan, what did you girls think about the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I think that everybody could use a little help. But anyways. Oh, God damn. Um, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> thank y'all for tuning in. And again, my Instagram is at Serena. S-A-R-I-N-A. N-E-W-T-O-N. So go follow me there. Shoot, I'm not gonna lie though. I was scared to pull up. Like I said, I was nervous about pulling up. Yeah. It's like 
She got mm -hmm. the lady who hit me up, Bridget. She has like what two hundred Instagram followers. It looked like one of them fake. Like a fake account, yeah. Sent me, send me an address. I'm like, okay, middle of the road. Huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought, you know, it's Vegas too, so I'm like, I'm gonna pull up. Am I gonna get snatches? I'm gonna pull up, go upstairs and support. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Then she's seeing the black boy hop out. Rose, <laughs> what's that Tyler the Creator song? Rose Royce pull up. Uh -oh. Black boy hop out. <laughs> You have a, you <laughs> the, 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 the AKA. Yes. All right, y'all. All right, continue. Oh, all right, so uh, did you like the podcast thoughts and um, what you want to shout out? I loved it. You guys did a wonderful job. I love that everybody spoke and it was very out opinionated. And I love that. And that nobody was like degrading anybody for their right. opinions. I love that everybody was open. So, yeah. Where's your big bird? Yeah. All right, Jamie. I, I enjoyed myself. It's very, it was a good time. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, I'm gonna keep my other comments to myself <laughs> at LA Reed. Yeah, I'm gonna be in your DMs because you was popping in. I didn't like that too much, oh, sir. Oh, yeah, LA. She coming. Okay, okay. All right. Go ahead, girl. What you got? I learned, I feel like I learned a lot from you guys and just the females in general, too. I think just it's important to keep up good energy and mm. like having fluid conversations like this, even for people just listening on. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, foreign and sweet. <laughs> Absolutely. And all the ladies, we actually have all of their IGs in the description. Dax Hill writes, Dr. Filling the ish out of them. Ladies, your answers are a projection of the type of men you date and attend to their needs and the caliber of needs you attend to, which tells us what to expect dealing with you. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. yes, your are. closing thoughts? Uh, my closing thoughts is, uh, all of you are crazy. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, nah, 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 y'all all cool. Everyone here is cool. I like how your dread and her hair is like all hugging each other right now <laughs> on camera. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, um, definitely a good conversation. I think this is the best conversation I think we had. Wow, yeah. wow, that's yeah. that's you girls are like the I best like conversation that. we had. Like no, I'm, I really do mean that too. Like yeah, thank that. you. No, they shouldn't because you look like you we ugly. kept it classy. Yeah, the other, he one, said, yeah, the other yeah. one was a little bit. Uh, <laughs> hey, we don't. I, hey, we don't judge. It's it's called television, right? You know. Well, no, no snacks for sure. Though. Yeah, what happens in Vegas stays, stays, stays in Vegas. Oh. Stays on the same city podcast. podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to thank you all for being here, and I appreciate all the different perspectives. And we definitely want to invite you guys out anytime we go up. We. I guess you can't even get into the club, but everybody else, um, uh, open invitation. Actually, you don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah. Oh, we got a fake or something? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, that's how R. Kelly went down. But um, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday. She has never been to Vegas. Don't Right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, we're going to have it going down just like this. Uh, invite your friends. Feel free to come back. We definitely want, we got community here. This is going to be the biggest thing moving in. Actually, it's already the biggest thing it moving is. in the city already, it but is. it's going to be even bigger. You dig? So we appreciate you all. And as usual, we're going to say peace of the saints on, or is it peace of the saints or should say the Saint city podcast? Saint city podcast. Saint city podcast. You dig? Yeah. One, two, three. Saint, Saint city, city podcast. podcast.